Oh. Michael Sheen, everybody. Michael Sheen. see you again. Thank you very much. And that looks very uh, interesting, the old underpants uh, film. What's yeah, that? yeah. The, uh... You, looks very hairy, doesn't it? You're very hairy very in that hairy. film. Mm. Uh, do you, are you that hairy in your own life? You I, can, I can grow it at will. You know, do you ever grow hair in your glabella? <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of things in my glabella. I'll hair bet. being one of them. I'll bet it. you have, right? <laughs> makes no sense. However, <laughs> uh, listen, I know, I, 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 congratulations on the, on the Underworld film and the hairiness and everything, much. but the Frost Nixon, I just, I just saw it. It's spectacular. Oh. It really is spectacular. Thank they, you. They, uh, with you and Frank, and in fact, everybody, everybody in the movie, but you and... Especially and Frank Glabella. Frank, Frank Glabella, Quite yes, Nixon, that's yeah. how, well, how unusual to be named after the space. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it because, you know, well, you grew up in Britain, didn't you? I did. So did I. Yeah. And everybody could do a David Frost impression when I was growing well, up. Well, everyone thinks they can do a David Frost. Yes, that's right, and you touched on that in the film, I suppose, mm. when everybody would come up to him and do it, and he would say, I don't do that. What was the... Th uh, everyone the... wants to do one to me as well. Oh, can and I... they wanted to do one to me before, when people heard that I was playing Frost. Right. And they'd come up to me and do it, and which, of course, puts a lot of pressure on, because most people were better at it than me. Oh, you're pretty good at it. Do, do you want to have a quick Frost off? Should we have a Frost off? Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'll go first, because I'm okay. the challenger. Okay. All right, then. All right. Hello, good evening, and welcome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'd give that a six out of ten. Okay, maybe? okay, yeah. I'm under a lot of pressure okay. here. I don't have time. I can, I can do... I, I could give you the young Frost, or I could give you the old Frost. Oh. Um, let's try young Frost. Oh, young Frost, okay. Hello, good evening, and welcome. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Is that... Was that the young Frost or the I didn't know he was gay Frost? <laughs> uh, that was Frost going into Austin Powers oh, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> it, the film did have little moments well, of I Austin think, Powers. I think Austin it? Powers is slightly based on David Frost. Yeah, in the a 70s. little bit, I think. That's yeah, sort of Playboy uh, jet set. That scene where you're in the uh, in the jumbo jet and you're talking to that fabulous bird, yeah. baby. It's uh, like, yeah. yeah. Smoking a cigar, yeah, drinking yeah. champagne. That's you know, when life was life, when you could exactly. get hammered and smoke cigars on airplanes. Exactly. Yeah. I still do. Do you really? Yeah, that's why I'm not allowed into America very often. <laughs> no. no, you're not allowed to do it on American no. airplanes anymore. You can't smoke and drink cigars. No. You can't even smoke cigars. Anyway. You can't smoke champagne or drink cigars either. No, you can't. That, <laughs> but that's the laws of physics. That's nothing that's to do with yeah. 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 Now, the, under, the Underworld movie, what's that yeah. about? Is it about the Underworld? Well, it is about the Underworld, oh, the right, world good. that is under. Um, it's, uh, well, well, I did. Uh, there's, this is the third one in the right. in the in the series, and this goes back in time. It's a prequel, so it shows the origins of the whole story. It goes back. It's about a, an ages-long feud between werewolves and vampires. Oh yeah, well of course they are notoriously at mm. each other's throats most exactly. of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> And you would be a werewolf then? I am a werewolf. And because the two films are out sort of at the same time, Frost Nixon and, and Underworld, uh, I, th I know a lot of the reviews for both films were on the same page. And I was trying to think about what the journalists would put as the headline for both reviews. Right. So there's obviously Interview with a Vampire. Right. Would be one that right. covers both. Right. Um, but my favourite one is Frost Bites. Oh, nice! <laughs> with this, does it mean the movie bites or does it mean... A... <laughs> I don't know. I no, don't no, even know don't what know, it means. No, no. I have no but idea. But are, are you, uh, are, do you believe in the, uh, the undead and the, uh, and the walking, you know, because uh, I, I do. I, I have quite a few members of my family that yeah, I believe are undead. Yeah, no, in fact, too. bizarrely, I'm, and this is not a joke, in my dressing room here, yeah. there's a coffin. Did you just get that for me? Was that some sort of practical? There is actually a coffin in my dressing room. No, that's my dressing room. Oh, that's your... Uh, oh, that'll be why. Right. No, yeah. uh, the, so what happened was that uh, this studio here is right next to where Bob Barker used to host The Price is Right. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and Bob Barker is a notorious vampire. So ah. what Bob would do between shows is he would rest in the soil of his native land <laughs> in the, uh, and then he'd come out and, and you know... <laughs> No, why, why is there a coffin lying around? 
<laughs> that, that is I think it was just, Is it just to freak people out before they come on the show? You know, I never thought of doing it, but it's a good idea, it yeah. Worked. It worked with me. Well, I'm it. sure it did. I think that would be terrifying uh, to walk yeah. in and find a coffin in your dressing room. Exactly. I had planned on something completely different. Mm. A poisonous spider I was going to put in for you. <laughs> How very odd. Yeah. 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 I'd heard that people die on this show, but... Uh, oh, yeah, I know. Every night when I do the monologue, my friend... <laughs> I... What about um, the, uh, the, the Underworld movie? It's kind of a sci-fi thing. Do you end up at the sci-fi conventions? Do you go around and... I'd love to. I'd love to end up in a sci-fi convention. I, I was hopeful... There's one called Comic-Con, which is... Oh, big, that's the, the huge one. one in San yeah. Diego, it was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What a much. surprise you guys were at Comic-Con. <laughs> And I couldn't, go, I couldn't go there because I was a bit ill whilst it was on. Oh, what was wrong? I was a bit poorly. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what did you have a hangover I was poor, or something? Yeah. Uh, no, I was poorly in Britain, right. which is a whole different thing right. than being poorly here. And uh, so I couldn't, I couldn't... Well, I have to, you'd have to get on a plane, wouldn't you? Oh, I see. You had over. tummy troubles. Yeah, and, uh, all that kind of stuff. You couldn't get on so, the plane yeah. with your... So I missed out on Comic-Con. But I'd have loved... Because, like, science fiction and fantasy stuff is my favourite stuff. Really? Absolutely. My favourite writer is Stephen King, Neil Gaiman, people like that. Do you like uh, Ian Banks? Uh, the Scottish writer. Yes, right, yes, yeah, he's very good. Ian Banks. He has two versions. Yeah, of his when name, he writes he? Uh, regular uh, books, he's Ian Banks. When he writes science fiction books, mm. he's Ian M. Banks. Although I don't know anything about science fiction, I'm not a geek. Not me. <laughs> if your if your monologue goes well, are you known as Craig Ferguson? And if it doesn't go well, Craig P. Ferguson. No, no, no. If my monologue goes well, Craig Ferguson. If it goes badly, I'm Conan O'Brien. Everybody, I'm over right back. Everybody, Michael Sheen. I'm very well. I'm it's very nice well. to see you back on the show. You look beardy. I haven't seen you beardy I before. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've grown a little bit of beard. I was just uh, helping them take your name sign down. Yeah, yeah, they're bringing it down. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame, but you know, the, the whole thing, things come to an end. All you good think, things must Well, no, I, I nearly said all good things, and then I thought, well, this show isn't that good. <laughs> yeah. so, Fortunately, all bad things yeah, must Bad end things, well, good yeah. things, everything passes, you yeah. know. It, eventually, it, if you take the right medicine. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. Are you all right? I'm, I'm well. I'm having regular passes. <laughs> did you did you have a problem before? There was a blockage. Was there a blockage? There you know what you want for that? Papaya. Really? Yeah. Papaya. The Brazilians eat it all the time. That's why they got the Olympics because they <laughs> they eat a lot of meat in South America. Yeah. So they so they eat papaya, uh -huh. and the uh, acidity of the papaya breaks down the protein of the meat. And whoa. it would be. <laughs> I would have thought it would be hard to pass a papaya. I passed a grapefruit once, but uh, yeah, I, a papaya would be tough. Why'd you keep doing that? I don't uh, know. I don't know. I, I, I shouldn't have started. No, this. you shouldn't sorry, have started doing this thing. No, I'm so very you're well. all right. I'm everything's, very well. Everything's regular downstairs. <laughs> yes. This is, by the way, just so as you know, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so when I say to you, everything all right, you don't have to tell me how no, your bells okay. are doing. I'm yeah. not a doctor. Okay. Although I might, I might go to med school now. <laughs> What are you going to do with your days I don't now? Know. I don't know. You know, I spend more time with my family, you know. Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> Because I saw your family backstage yeah, all going, yeah. oh, no, he's going to spend more time with us. <laughs> no, they don't. Now, you, in this movie, you play Brian Clough, the legend of British soccer. I did, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, was, uh, he was an extraordinary character. Yeah, did he? Is he still around? No, he died in 2004. Oh, that's, that's yeah. a shame. Yeah, he must have been very old, though. He was, he was getting on then, yeah. yeah, yeah. But he was, you know, when I was growing up, he was... I mean, you too. probably remember yeah, as well. Yeah, of course. Whether, and I know you're not a huge fan of sports. Not really, no. No, but even... <laughs> but well, even, that, uh, that's not a sport, though. No, 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 no. <laughs> No. We were going to do a film about a man a who does that. A film about that? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> not, not a sport. Yeah. You can't have that in the Olympics. Not, not they have so soccer in the Olympics. Though. They do have soccer yeah, in the yeah, Olympics, yeah. yeah. Soccer's a sport. I think soccer's a fair sport. Mm. I, I enjoy it. You said it, it's anything you can't do. Well, I can't play soccer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. Are you a good soccer player? I, I was going to be a soccer player when really? I was younger. Yeah, before I became an actor. Really? When I was 12, yeah. Have you ever heard of the team? <laughs> yeah. 
No, I wasn't going to play for a major team when I was 12, but you kind of you, you joined their youth team. You must have been very good, I thought. I was, yeah. I was a pretty good 12-year-old. Yeah. 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 What, yeah. What team were you... Uh... I was going to play for Arsenal. Arsenal? Yeah. They're, they're like a huge team. Yes, and they have the word arse in them. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah. That was the main reason I oh, wanted well. to play for that. <laughs> can I say that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can say arse. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Why not? What are they going to do, fire me? Yeah. <laughs> So uh, did you did you did you play soccer in the movie? Do you? Uh... I did. Well, there's one. There's a scene. A couple of scenes in it because the Brian Clough was a player before he, was a, he became a, very a famous coach. Player, yeah. yeah. And uh, and he, he got injured and he couldn't play anymore. So when he became coach of the teams, he wanted to prove to them that he could play better than them. So he would hang around the goal mouth and put the ball in the back of the net and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. in the film, we try and show a bit of that. So I'd said to all the the other actors who were playing the players in the film, uh, were all picked for their football skills as well as their acting. Right. And I said from. Fairly early on, I said, I think partly in character, because he was very arrogant, brash. Kind I remember of that, because he, he was very mean about Scotland. Uh, uh, was he? <laughs> but then isn't everyone? Uh, except Scottish people. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm Welsh, so people well, are very mean about Wales in Britain yeah, well, as well. Yeah, I well, know. Well, it's a, your language, really. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Well, no, no one understands. We spit a lot well, when yeah, we it's do a, it. it's, a, like, it's based entirely on phlegm, that it's, language. It, 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 it's a language that only has consonants and no vowels. Yeah, you, 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 can't, you can't speak that language unless you've got a bad head cold. I mean, really, exactly. it's, it's bad. Exactly. Well, you know the famous, uh, the famous train station, that, well, the village, yeah, there is one. only a train station. Can you say it? I can. All right, let's hear This it. gives you an example of what Welsh language is like. This is a Welsh is word. Like. It's the name of a train station in Wales. All right, anyway. Llanfair pwll gwingich go gerich gwyn drobwyl llanta silioch go go go. In, uh, in, in Wales, yeah. saying the names of our villages is an Olympic sport. Yeah, well... I think it's in the 2016 it's, uh, You do it running around with a ribbon. Exactly. <laughs> Whilst passing papaya. Yeah. I did that again. No, no, sorry, don't, sorry. Don't, don't no do more that again. No more now, what about, the, uh, what about the plane of the soccer then? Did it, did it work out? Well, yeah, so it... I, said, I said to all the, the other actors, look, uh, obviously I am by far a better football player than any of you. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and this is partly being in character, you know. And, right. then, uh, and then it came to the day when I had to actually prove it because mm. I had to play football in front of everybody and uh, so they're all standing there going right come on then and then it seemed the world's press turned up that day as well because I'd said in a few interviews that I could have been a football player so they're all there trying to film and yes. catch me doing it got it back of the net first take done that's great yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you very much yeah. of course you only have my word for that <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, that soccer in America, it's never, it's never really, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people would argue it has taken off, but really, it's not huge, it's not huge like the NFL, no, the no. NBA. Well, my theory about it is that sport is completely entwined with the history of the country. And so there's that fantastic documentary that Ken Burns did called Baseball, right, which I yeah, watched yeah. when I was here uh, a few years ago. And, uh, and I realised the history of baseball is the history of America, and you've got American football, you've got baseball, hockey, all those things. Right. So you don't really need another sport. No, you know why I Because we don't need another sport that you're best at. As well, yeah, to be yeah, honest. No, there's, also, there's also, you know, why I think it's difficult for uh, to work in America as well because you get two 45-minute periods, no timeouts, so there's no place for commercial breaks. That is true. You know, so. That is true. <laughs> yeah. And also, how are you going to sell the beer, buddy? How are you gonna, where are you going to sell the beer? Where are the car sales in there? But 45 you could, minutes, commercial free. You could add. So long, <laughs> communist. Yeah. <laughs> you could add excitement. Though. You could add excitement by getting the players to sell beer whilst they're playing. So whenever they get near the byline, they can try and hand out beer. That really would quickly. be fantastic, be yeah. Good. And then set their boots on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Multitask. Yeah, yeah. Now there's an Olympic sport. Setting your boots on fire? Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see Brazilians in thongs with fiery boots handing out beers to people in the crowd. There's a club in West Hollywood we can see. It's Gunter. It's Gunter. Yeah, it's Gunter. It's Gunter. Where Gunter came from. It's Michael Sheen, everybody. We've got to go over right back. Nothing that cool will ever happen here. <laughs> I've told you once, I've told you a million times. This show sucks. Please welcome my friend Michael Sheen, everybody. Michael Sheen. Oh! 
Hello. Hey, how did the movie do at the weekend? Is uh, it going to be a hit? You... I, I, I don't know. I was, uh, I was just sitting at home counting all my quintillion dollars. Do you get all the money? No, I get nothing. No, I didn't think so. They, they don't pay the actors, do if they? If I'm they... lucky, I'll get an action figure. <laughs> I can get you one of those tonight if you want. Could you? <laughs> what do you do in your own sordid time? <laughs> I, like, I liked your hair in this film. The... Did you like it? Yes, I liked it very much. <laughs> it's good. Thank was, you. That, was that wig? I grew it all myself. Did you really? I have the ability to grow hair at will. <laughs> I just... See, that's what makes you that Oscar winning <laughs> movie exactly. star and me it's just a hair. humble chimney sweep. <laughs> I think you'll find it's pronounced chimbly sweep. Chimbly sweep? Chimbly sweep. In Mary Poppins, they're called chimbly sweep. Are they? Yeah. yeah. I don't remember it's, that. It's, you, you people should know that. <laughs> Et tu, Michael? Et tu? Why? When you, when Why? You're not... <laughs> Why? Why? When you're not dribbling over your green bean casserole. Well... You're watching old Disney movies of British chimbleys. Hello, chimbley. Did Hello. they call them? I liked Dick Van Dyke's English accent in Mary Poppins. Me too. I thought it was great. All right. It was spot on. It's the rest of Britain that's got it wrong. Yes, that's the. That's what I tried to. He was doing a historically accurate. Exactly. You know. He speaks it like the Queen speaks it. You know the way you think the Queen speaks. That's all the act. Weren't you in the Queen? I was. I, no, no, no. Yeah, but the real. Uh, <laughs> but the real Queen. The real Queen actually speaks like Dick Van Dyke. Hello, <laughs> Michael. Hello. How are you? Hello. Would you like a knighthood then? <laughs> I uh, get off me bar. Exactly. Exactly. That's well, how she actually speaks. What part of England are you from? I'm from the Welsh part of England. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which is not the same as the Scottish part of England yes. or the Irish part of England. I thought you people were part of England, aren't you? <laughs> Do you mm. ever get asked to play Welsh characters? No, like, there, doesn't, there doesn't seem to be any Welsh vampires ever. There's, you know? not, there's not, although I do put a little bit of Welsh into this one, because I put a little bit of Welsh into everything I do, because I'm crap. <laughs> You've come to the right place! But I'm enthusiastic! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> now, the, how are you dealing with the enormous popularity of this thing? I, are, are people stopping you and saying, oh, look, it's... Uh, what's the name of your character again? I forget. Uh, Arrow. Ar Arrow. Arrow. I know you pretend to put them down, these films, but in fact, look, what people don't realise is that Craig actually wrote them. I did, yeah. <laughs> God, I, if I had written these films, I wouldn't be in this dump. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be getting drunk on my boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd be not being enthusiastic, but also not being crap. That's right, I'd just be rich somewhere. Yeah. Who does write the films? Is it Stephanie uh, Meyer writes the well, books? Well, no, Stephanie or... writes the books, and yeah. uh, the films have been written by another lady. Right, OK, well, that's mm. always good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> we can cut that out. The, yeah. uh, <coughs> actually, we can't. This is not like a movie. We no. can't cut things out. See, that's the difference. When you make a movie, you, you, you make all the crap bits, and you go, well, all the crap bits, we'll just mm. take them and put them elsewhere. Here, we just put... That's, that's, that's the whole show. That's why, <laughs> that's why most of my career are just short films. Because no. once you cut all the crap out, no. there's only a little bit left. What are you going to do now? You've, done, you've been a vampire, you've been a prime minister, you've been David um, Frost. You, yeah, what I'm about Welsh? May I suggest Welsh? What, like Shirley Bassey? I'll do the Shirley Bassey Shirley story. Bassey was Wells or um, uh, Richard Burton. Thomas? Richard Burton. I come from the same town as Richard Burton. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do you drink as much as he did? I, uh, <laughs> not anymore. No, right. No, oh. No. Oh. What do they drink in Wales? Anything, um, really, don't they? Uh, paraffin. Li <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Liquid daffodil. We just put <laughs> daffodils, leeks. They're big and, singers yeah. in Wales, though, aren't they? Love Land singing. of Song. Land yeah. of Song. Tom Jones. from. Tom Jones. Yeah. Have, have you ever seen his show in Vegas? Uh, no, I haven't. But it's I have sung fantastic. the Welsh national anthem next to Tom Jones. Did he? In did fact, he get sexy? He, he got a little bit sexy with me. Actually. Yeah, I was. It was for the opening of the Welsh Assembly, I believe, in in uh, in Wales. And there was a, all every Welsh star across the world was called back like a bat phone, a bat signal. Right. The Welsh dragon. It's lit in the night, and we all congregated on Cardiff. And I we ended up at the end of it singing the Welsh national anthem. And I was stood between Tom Jones and Shaking Stevens. Did Shaking Stevens ever make an impact over here? Did he make it in America? With his green door? Maybe not. He was oh, a sort of... I, I'll give him a quick round. Okay, Hold on. Okay. Right. <laughs> Don't know what they're doing, but they're laughing a lot by the green... That's it. That's the one. Right, that's Shaking Stevens. He was, uh, yeah. He Very was... Good. He was a Welsh yeah, yeah. Elvis. He was the Welsh Elvis. He was the Welsh he, Elvis. He wasn't, he wasn't the Welsh Elvis, he was the Welvish. The Welvis, yeah. <laughs> well, I was between Shaky, as he was known. Right. Uh, you call him Shaky? I call him Shaky. Wow. Uh, and Tom Jones. Right. And at a certain point in the Welsh National Anthem, Tom Jones clearly did not know the words. And he just stopped singing, and he turned to me, and he, did, and he went... 
gave me a wink and then carried on singing. I thought, that's Tom Jones. That's how he gets by in the world, with a yeah, little... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's how he would just throw it up. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. You used to do that with your acting sometimes. If you forget <laughs> your lines, like you could just be like doing the the vampire. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, I had when I was at drama school. I had my old. This is the sort of drama school I went to. My old fencing teacher. Oh, hello. Henry Marshall. Yes. Uh, I went to the RADA, the Royal Academy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Henry Marshall used to say, "When you're on, when you're on stage, you used to speak like this. He was about that tall with a little beard, yeah. and uh, he had a dog called Wompy. 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 The I like Spaniel. him. They should make a film oh, about him. Fantastic. People would love that. I That's know. adorable. Fantastic. Wompy. But, the, and he teaches the dog and to fence. Teaching the fencing. Yes. Like and he used to say, "When you're on stage and you can't remember." your lines and you dry, all you have to do is turn to the audience and say with complete confidence, aha, I'm Captain Hook. <laughs> Can playing, I tell you? Playing Hamlet, anything. Can I tell you, I like the sound of this fella. He's good, isn't he? I do. Henry Marshall, what may, I, may I try it? Absolutely. <clears throat> aha, I'm Captain Hook. <laughs> yeah. It seems to work. Have you ever used it? I, I haven't had a chance to use it, but my friend, a friend of mine who was at a different drama school... What kind had of a friend? Teacher, uh, a very good friend. Special friend? A special friend. A special <laughs> fencing friend? No, no, not a special fencing friend. Come on, let's go fencing with Wompat. <laughs> Wompy. Wompy, sorry. Wompy, not yeah. Wombat. <laughs> but his teacher told him, and he, he had a teacher who was a French mime teacher, Ooh. and she said... So they uh, don't talk much. They don't talk no. much. <laughs> but when they do, you listen, because oh, yeah. they say things like this. She said, uh, when you're on stage and uh, you, nobody is laughing and it is not going very well, you just turn around, you drop your trousers, and you show your buttocks. <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait. So off you go. Yeah. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I have... I have a slight mechanical problem with this, and I'll tell you what it is. When you said you drop your trousers and show your buttocks, my mm. buttocks I happen to be located around the back. Right, OK. So if I dropped my trousers, I would show my jingle bells, and I wouldn't show my <laughs> buttocks. I would show... I would show more than most people have television screen capacity for. <laughs> It's all, it's all high definition these days, it's fine. Uh, yeah. But what you should do, if ever you're in trouble on the show, which is uh, yes, continuously, yes. Uh, you should just say, you should drop your uh, trousers, turn around, show your buttocks, and say, aha, I'm Captain Hook, and do the full <laughs> double whammy. Nice! Thank you, thank you for coming in, Michael. You've sorted me out again. Michael machine, everybody, we're very right what happens if you're unfamiliar with uh, um, television? What happens here is that um, <laughs> people from all over the country send in Twitters or emails, and then uh, we, we collate them into a papery form, and then they're given to me where I answer them. You know, there's a lot to get through, maybe a thousand a day. <laughs> Maybe 12. Uh, anyway, what I do is I, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll answer them as, I, as the day goes on. <laughs> Ding dong! Is that the door? How can that possibly be the door? I wasn't expecting it. Why, it's Michael Shane! I, two things. One, yeah. I'm a bit, I feel a bit awkward. We both wore the grey suit. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. But you, yours looks great. Uh, it was either this or play skins, and I didn't want to take the whole no, thing No, no, no. Maybe later. But here's yeah. the problem. <laughs> the, it, this, I, you're the guest on the show tonight, mm. but it's not time for you yet. No, they told me I could come in here and I'd find a good tinkering partner. Ah. <laughs> All right, then. Well, I'll take it with you. Well, we have to do this first. And come then... here, Watson. Yeah. I want come you. Come here, Watson. I want you. I'm feeling very Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I've just invented something with a proper amount of suction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Well, you, we'll have to do this, and then we'll have a commercial break, and then you can be the guest on the show. Oh, all, right. all right. All right. You can do this first. All okay. right. This is a Twitter. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, from Carmen in Singapore. Singapore? Ever been there? It's near Luton. No, no, it's much further away than Luton. It's where chewing gum is illegal. In Singapore? It is. If you're caught chewing gum... Yeah. <laughs> well, not really. What, you, you have to make a funny Yeah, you have, to make, you have to make that noise. <laughs> have you been chewing gum? Yes, well, make that noise then. <laughs> All right, on you go. <laughs> All right, it's a boring question. Uh, 
This is from JC in Broken Arrow. You ever been to Broken Arrow? It's from Jesus Christ. <laughs> You've, you've clearly never been to Oklahoma. <laughs> Jesus don't, Christ is alive and well no, and living in Oklahoma. Don't start talking like this. Yeah, don't, don't, especially about Oklahoma. I'm Oklahoma's, there. it's like Holland, but with guns. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> this is from David in Portland in Oregon. You ever been up there? I have. I made a film there called The Music Within. Oh. I loved that place. It was wonderful. It's I nice. love you, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, it's very nice. It rains there a lot. It does, but Much then it's like, like Wales. Wales. Yes, exactly. Yes. Where I, I see, come from. Yeah. Yes, I see now. Mm. All right, this is uh, from David in Portland, Oregon. He said, Craig, after your superb awkward pause with Quentin Tarantino last week, we, I did do that. I think his name is Tarantino. Though. What did I say? You said Tarotino. No, that's, how, that's my pet name for him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did I say Tarotino? Completely different guy. Oh, yeah. He flogs aquariums down the market. <laughs> Quentin Tarotino? Yeah. yeah. Come in, I'll tell you your future. I am Quentin Tarotino. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'll forget that. Uh, all right, this is from Michael in Edison, New Jersey. Now, do you know who was from there? Uh, Alexander Graham Bell. Yes. <laughs> Michael in Edison, New Jersey says, Craig, my hair is gorgeous, and this bald guy wants me to sell it to him. <laughs> should I do it? Do it, do it! Yeah, you should, man. Do it! Do it, do it! Do but, it! But wait, 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 man. Sorry, sorry. We don't know if it's hair here, or... Do it! No, do it! Yeah, 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 do it. <laughs> I like your style. I'll put that to one side. Okay. I'll get these sorted out later. <laughs> Save that one for special. Yeah, I'll put that back later. That'll be for the uh, post-Oscar party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, it's going to be hairy. Uh, <laughs> if I had a hairy cat, I'd shave it. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is from Mandy in Alpharetta in Georgia. That's a made-up place. That doesn't No, exist. no, it does. I've been there, Alpharetta. <laughs> What long lost fashion trend would you wish to return? Personally, I wish men would start wearing fedoras again. Me too. Isn't that a cigar? Well, fedora? No, that's a corona. Wearing cigar? All oh, right, corona. No, no, no. I do. But I would quite like it if men wore cigars. That would be quite good. I would just wear a skirt of cigars. <laughs> I would wear one big cigar and then make my hair go up like a razor head to stick out the top of it. That'd be quite nice. With little eye holes. Do, do you ever smoke cigars? Uh, no, no, I don't. Uh, what about marijuana? Do you smoke that? I, I, I smoke bananas. <laughs> Have you never smoked a banana? Is that some kind of... <laughs> is that some kind of actor talk we've got here? I'm just trying to get you to say it. What? Smoked a banana? Yeah. No, I've never... I think the censor might be all over this. <laughs> is, this is this popular slang, is it? Smoked about? There's an incredibly small fetish group on the internet who are really? now shaking that you've just said that. Oh, really? Yeah. The people that smoked, smoked banana.com? Banana yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yeah. I am a member of that site. <laughs> Can I tell you, actually, oh, yeah, can yeah, I tell okay, you, yeah, yeah. the best internet site that I've ever heard of is that there is a fetish about people writing stories about wrapping Roy Orbison up in cling film. That is true. <laughs> Why do you have to be embarrass me? <laughs> Talking about my private life. One story begins with, I was visiting my grandmother in the hospital. I walked past a slightly ajar door, happened to see Roy Orbison on the, on the table in there. I happened to have my cling film on me. Well, they make up stories about yeah, wrapping yeah. up Roy Orbison in cling film. Yeah. He's no longer with us, Roy no, Orbison. No, I know. Well, that's, that's not plausible, It's then, a sort of it? tribute, isn't it, really? <laughs> I think we may have a few of them in the audience tonight. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind wrapping a few of them in plain film, to be honest. <laughs> we have to take a break and then sorry, I come, sorry. Oh, when I come back, yes. right, and I'm glad you're here because it'll stop the audience hurting me. <laughs> I'm when, gonna join them. No, no, you mustn't. <laughs> no, see ya! Uh, but when we, when we come back, my guest tonight will be Michael Sheen, who's you. Oh, yes. Right, we'll just wait there. You don't have to go out okay. and come back in again. All right, I'll just that would be awkward. <laughs> and I think, we've, I think we've had more than enough of that on the show this evening. All right, we'll be right back with Michael Sheen. My, 
Now, your first guest today... Um, I, I, no, don't. Stop it. <laughs> My first guest today is very, very small. I look, I can hold him in my hand. Look, turn around, little guest, and I'll smack your bottom. Woo! Woo! No, the other way, the other oh. way. There you go. <laughs> Come here, Watson. I want you. <laughs> I'm coming. What's my box is ringing, sir? My box is ringing. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> Michael Sheen in a new film, Alice yes. in Wonderland. Who do you play in Alice in Wonderland? I by the play, way? I want to say Alice, but it's an old joke. Uh, right. No, I play the White Rabbit. No. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, that. It listened to the sort of. It was a strange kind what of. We don't really care yeah. noise there. <laughs> it, was it, was oh. it was a bit like. Yeah. Oh. Yes, he does he, look like a rabbit. He's a bit, he does. I've always thought he's yes. a bit rabbity. Yes. He is a bit rabbit. Do people think you're a bit rabbity? No, they've not mentioned it before, but I think these people do. <laughs> well, they think everybody's rabbity. When I came out, they were kind of looking for little poop chunks on the floor. You know, they, <laughs> they scoop them up in the commercial yeah, breaks yeah, and I take know. them out, don't they? Do, well, we, we used to eat rabbit in Scotland. You can't say that to me. As part of my research, I lived with rabbits for six months. You Did can't you? then say you eat them. Oh, yeah. But I would never eat a rabbit and a rabbit egg at the same time. <laughs> when you ordered the chicken and the egg, which came first? Well, the egg didn't come at all. So I didn't order ah. the chicken and the egg. I said, I'd like a cob salad, no egg. And he said, that's not a cob salad. And I went, fine, I'll have whatever a cob salad is without egg. That's what I want. <laughs> But isn't it the age-old question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah, but I've decided I know the answer to that. Which is? Chicken. <laughs> Why? Because y you can't have an egg without someone laying it. <laughs> well, the egg just turned up on its own but from another planet. Oh, they came down in a spaceship and an egg. The egg's not going to be. What did it go? Grow out of the ground? Come on, man! Come on! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're not even thinking! I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm still thinking you, Are about... you one of those, oh, the egg came first people? Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm an eggist. Yes. <laughs> I'm an eggationist. Really? Do you, do you believe the egg came first? Uh, no, I believe that... Uh, I believe we're all one. I believe that, <laughs> yeah. I believe that children are our future. <laughs> yeah. Treat them well. And they will find a way. They will. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did an awkward pause without you <laughs> trying. Isn't no, that nice? Just like Tarotino. Oh, yeah, Quentin Tarotino. Have you met Quentin? I have. I met him a while ago. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's nice. He was lovely. He was yeah, very nice. I always expect him to do something really bloodthirsty, but mm. he never does. No, I yeah. saw him shoot three people, but apart from that... He shot three people? He did. When? Uh, at a party that I was really, at. Really? Yeah. Uh, he, occasionally he'll do that. Do you go to a lot of the Hollywood parties and shoot people? Uh, no, but I think it was because someone called him Tarotino. Uh -oh. So he, sh <laughs> he just shot them. Mm. He owns a cinema just down the road, you know. He bought really? the cinema, yeah. Just to show his films? No, he doesn't actually show his films much. What does he show? Oh, you know, other films. <laughs> Ones that you're in, <laughs> yeah. mostly. It's a Sheen Fest. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's Sheen Nation. Sheen Palooza. Sheen Palooza, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you, do you, would you like to own a cinema? I'd love to own a cinema. Really? I would. Well, in fact, I'm thinking you? about, you know, there's so many beautiful old Art Deco cinemas here in L.A. Right. And they're true. all closed down. Yeah. Um, and so I'm thinking about trying to find one and start up a theatre company in one. Really? What do you think about that? I think that's a good idea. Can I be in it? You can. All right. I'm Selling tickets. <laughs> And doing little wait, tap dances wait, in wait, between that, the films. That's what I was going to ask. Oh, okay. <laughs> At the uh, Alice in Wonderland premiere in London yeah. last week, yeah. uh, no, sorry, here in LA, we had a sort of special screening of it yeah. uh, at the El Capitan Theatre. And they have, a man, there, yeah. they have a man on an organ before the film starts. Oh, yeah. Well, I always know. like a man on the organ before <laughs> the film starts. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. LOL. Yeah, yeah, LOL. Yeah. OMG, I can't believe he said that. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, there was a guy on the organ playing his full th and then he goes down at the beginning of the film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, well, not, well, well. I'm not playing these smutty games with you. I'm not. Well, what the hell have you been doing for the I'm last not. 20 minutes, then? <laughs> Anyway, I suppose the film's good, because uh, we've run out of time now, oh, we've got to talk yeah. about it. But, Alice uh, in Wonderland, fantastic. Go and see it. Yeah, yeah. Helen Bonner Carter's in it. She's brilliant. It's the I, best I, thing I I've ever seen her do. Helen Bonner Carter, I called her there. You. I didn't mean to. It's just I'm, I'm There's having There's some parallel Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood universe. Hollywood, yeah, see? 
but a parallel Hollywood universe where there yeah. are people called Helen Bonham Carter and Quentin Tarotino. It's Tarotino, and, yeah. She was here, you know, Helen Bonham Carter. Uh, uh, you know the actress Michelle Pfeiffer? Yes. Have you heard of her? Very much so. In, In the, fact, I've smelled her. <laughs> she was a guest on the show and at the end I leaned over and went <laughs> like that. I just smelled you there. That was my trick to smell you. What did she do? Jasmine. Uh, <laughs> What did she do when you smelled her? Um, appreciated it. Because <laughs> I got a little shiver up and down my spine when you did it. Well, when I smelled you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Watson, I want you. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I was going to say, what? Michelle Pfeiffer, if you were to slightly get her name wrong, yeah. um, she would be Michelle Perfiffier. That's not slightly getting that's her name wrong. That's, that's, that's a big wrong. Yeah. That's extravagantly I think getting you should her go, name Why don't you from now on <laughs> try and get everyone's names really wrong? Famous people's names All right, really then. wrong. The lovely Michael Shoe, everybody. Michael <laughs> Shoe. We'll be right back. Oh, it was nice to see Michael Sheen. He's gone now, though. I'm not leaving. I've got another guest, though, who's lovely. Or... <laughs> She's in a movie called The Green... <laughs> the Green Zone, which is in theatres March the 12th. Take a look at this. Take a look. Have you met Michael? No, no, but I know your work. Oh, well, You're right. Oh, oh actor. actors talking. Hang on, hang on. That's enough. <laughs> That's the real deal. What? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah, I can't pull off shoes like that. They are stunning. <laughs> Look at those, right. girlfriend. Very, they are very nice shoes, yeah. I always do the shoes, Michael, if you don't mind. Sorry. I like to compliment on the shoes. <laughs> What, what do you have? Oh, no, I, you oh. don't have to do the Bob Barker's oh. old oh. shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh, by the way, here's a tip. Uh, if you want girls to find you attractive, show them this part where the sock leaves a mark on your leg. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pull the sock down so they see the mark. Oh, the mark. There you go. There you go. That's good. That's, uh, that's, that's big uh, over in the UK, is this? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, We're big on sock marks. Yeah, yeah, we do. But there's a website, actually. <laughs> hey, Amy, you, um, congratulations. Did you just have a baby? I did. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah. That's lovely. What, what, what age? Uh, what did you have? Um, I, had, I had a baby girl. Oh, that's lovely. What's her name? Georgia. That's lovely. Did you have her in Georgia? Uh, no, I had her in New York. <laughs> but that was already a reality star on VH1, and you didn't want to call her that. <laughs> Is that really? Yeah, is she, yeah. Is she yeah. always on your mind? Yes, she is. Uh, I was going to ask her is. if she was always on her mind. I was going to ask her if she was always on her mind. Got to be quicker. That was my next thing. He's, if he's, he's a about... great, great actor, terrible host. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly the opposite of me. <laughs> I was going to say the George on your mind thing. I was, I was going to say the George yeah, on your mind. Yeah, she was, was going to say it too. Yeah, how giving us a chance, oh, Michael? Oh if, when I'm hot, I'm hot. Yeah, I'm I guess. Hey, uh, how about the, uh, the, uh, what, the film? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the Green Zone, but that's, yeah. uh, that's, uh, Matt Damon that's, in there. He was, yeah, he's good. he's really good. Yeah. He's really good. He's the real deal. Yeah. And he's American, too. He's, he's American. American. He's American. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I get asked so much, people say, oh, you're the girl in the Matt Damon movie. Did you get to kiss him? Yeah. It's the first question. Did you? No. <laughs> I feel, I feel like I need one of those t-shirts, like, I'm the girl opposite Matt Damon and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> like, but is it the same director that did the Bourne movies? It is, ah, yes. See, I love the Bourne movies. Amazing. Paul yeah. Greengrass, he makes a, an exciting film. He does. Like, is there lots of kung fu and death? There's, there's death, mm. there's kung fu, that would happen in between the scenes that yeah. we didn't film that. That was just a warm up, the group well, warm up. Well you just did yeah. some kung fu to get going? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's like me and him before he yeah. comes out here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, there, there's death, there, there's some humour, there's a lot of action, there's helicopters. Helicopters, yes. I'm in! See, that's what you, that's what you want to get in that, um, what do you call it, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I bet you don't have a helicopter in I that. I come in on a helicopter, really? the rabbit hole oh. in my helicopter. <laughs> 
So listen, you've got a little baby girl. That's lovely. Yes, I do. And you brought her out from New York? Yes, we all flew out. And how, she, age, how old is she? She's five, almost five months. And how was the flying? All right? Yeah, she does great. She yeah, does I used great. to like flying when my, yeah. when my son was very young. It was all right, because if, if he's not causing a lot of trouble, uh, he's asleep. And when he causes trouble, do you try to pretend it's another passenger's no, child? No, no, no. I enjoy, <laughs> I enjoy the misery that is spreading throughout the airplane. <laughs> and people doing all that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> like that's going to put yeah. the kid to sleep. Oh, 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 you, do, you do get some crazy looks but yeah. when you get on the flight. People are like, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, not another baby. Yeah. I used to be that person. Yeah, yeah no, no. And then yeah. you have a baby and karma yeah. comes right exactly. back again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. your baby's okay. What about uh, sleep? through the night are you she good? sleeps through the night really yeah are you sure this is a baby or we're talking said, about or, or perhaps she's you know sneaking out the window and going out on the town but uh, we don't hear her she's, that's pretty she's, that's yeah. pretty impressive and poop lots of poop uh she's got some good health healthy poops yeah. nah, that's good awesome. that's what you want. how about you michael my, doing healthy poops? Poops? my poops are very healthy yeah, yeah. that's good that's good yeah no you, you, you we've seen good. your poops yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> like little rabbits yeah. uh <laughs> Yeah, well, this is good. Oh. Did you shoot the film in Iraq? Uh, n no. A amazingly, we didn't, because you'd swear we did when you see this film. Although, right. I don't know how many of you have been to Iraq. I haven't, so right. I don't know what you compare it to. But, no, we shot in London and Morocco and Spain. I've been to Morocco you and have. Spain. Isn't yeah. it amazing? I love Morocco. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's very, very nice indeed. In fact, someone offered to sell me some hashish when I was in Morocco. <laughs> I, of course, refused. I, I once was drugged with hashish in a nice little tagine. I didn't know it was in there. Oh, and the really? walls started to spread. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That'll be hashish. I, I was shocked. I really, I thought it was myself. I thought, I'm really just horribly, I'm terribly socially awkward. I, the walls are, are spreading and I, I want to go home. Yeah, that sounds but, uh, like it, yeah. I just uh, really brought the party down. No, <laughs> no, no, that's all right. Many of the people in the audience, I think, are on hashish this evening. Right yeah. We're stretching. Yeah, no, they're... they're it, yeah. So, um, well, that's lovely, and I'm very happy that you're here and you got to meet Michael and the film's coming out, and yes. it's, it's so fantastic. It all worked out rather well. I think that we should have a commercial break. Well, I don't, but we have to. Okay. But if it was cable, we wouldn't have to. No. And we could say... Ooh, la, la. <laughs> I'm just pointing it out. I'm pointing it out. And if it was cable, you could also. <laughs> <laughs> you rinse your mouth out, girl. Rinse, 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 and repeat. Don't touch the snake. <laughs> You have a five-month daughter, how dare you? Yes. Be ashamed We're of yourself. Outraged. He's from Wales, I'm from Scotland. Yes. We don't appreciate naughtiness. We like things to be calm. Okay. Hey, you know what? Have you, ever, uh, have you ever been drinking with a Welshman? Not yet. No, don't. <laughs> the night is young. Don't, don't, don't. I, I, I swear, I tell you, this is true. I've been drunk with most nationalities and by far and away the worst, make the Australians look like teetotalers <laughs> and the Welsh. Big drinkers Why? The Welsh. Why? Why? I don't is know. It worse? He's Welsh. Let's ask him. Why? Born with a great thirst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, they have that language, yeah. which is based entirely on phlegm. <laughs> In fact, so, we made up the language after having drunk a lot. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was like <laughs> drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Welsh for one more round. <laughs> Everything, Everything in Welsh means one, one more round, round. yeah. Stay for another. That's yeah. Welsh for, I'm sorry, but we have to go to a commercial break. Michael Shu, everybody! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Um, well, sadly, we're out of time, everyone. <laughs> but I think we all learned something. Michael, what did you learn on I the show learned tonight? Never, ever to come back on this show. Oh, come ever. On. <laughs> Be so mean. I I, I talked to you very nicely uh, for I, a Welshman. I learned some very rude words from Amy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do know some very rude words, Amy. 
I, I, I am from Queens. Yes. <laughs> I know some Queens. <laughs> and I am a Queen! There you go! <laughs> ah, good times. You know what we didn't know? We didn't have a Spanish word of the day. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, mi lapis es amarillo. I'm sorry, what does that mean? <laughs> My pencil is yellow. <laughs> do you find... That's good. That is good. Do you, do you, is that all your Spanish? Uh, seventh grade Spanish, yes. In That's a, my seventh grade Spanish. In a strange irony, I was once cautioned for using that exact same phrase. <laughs> in Welsh. In Welsh. You were cautioned? Mm. By you? whom? I, I, was, I, I went up to a woman and said, hello, my pencil is yellow. Oh, you don't want to say that. <laughs> I went yeah. up to a woman and said, my vacuum cleaner has the proper <laughs> amount of suction. <laughs> Yeah. You, you, you have to buy the ladies dinner first before you use those phrases. Before you get out your yellow <laughs> yeah. pencil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking about pencils and vacuum cleaners? No, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so uh, we were wondering if you wanted to come out and hang about with us tonight. Um, w w can you get me a babysitter? Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, Michael? Yeah, Michael is it. <laughs> Would you, well, you know. No, I thought when you said we... Yeah. And both of us. Yeah, no, no, that's true. I was, that's his name. You're not the only person called Michael, you know. Get oh. over it. Oh, there's another, someone else called Michael. Oh, no, no, you're the special Michael. The only <laughs> Michael in the world. No, there are other Michaels. There's you. There's uh, Michael over there, Michael Nanus. There's uh, Michael Naismith, who was in The Monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, obscure Michael. Thank you I like very that. much indeed. Nice yeah, one. I like that one. I've been very uncomfortable in this suit. It fits me, and I'm not used to that. Um, uh, look. You have to break that in. I do. Yeah. You can do that again if you want. Hey. <laughs> Actually, I, I want to see the sexy one. Oh, uh, the salt mark? Yeah, 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 go on. Oh, oh this is a nice bridge. It feels yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. They're like, they're like little ankle abs. Yeah, that's right. They're ankle abs. I do these all the time. That's how you get them. I've got a six pack. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's down here. <laughs> If you, if you bring your sock down just below the sock mark, yeah. could you sort of think that's sock cleavage? Yeah, that is sock cleavage. <laughs> yeah. Sock cleavage. Sock cleavage. Sock cleavage. Sounds Which like sounds a like a Welsh railway station, <laughs> it does. doesn't it? Welcome to sock cleavage. <laughs> we have to go. We're way over time. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. Well, what are you going to do? You're only going to be selling the sham web anyway. It's the middle of the day and night. <laughs> All right, we got to go. Okay. Say good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. That's beautiful. <laughs> Please welcome my friend Michael Sheen, everybody. Michael Sheen. The thing to do, first of all, let me just say, it's lovely to see you. And you. And your beard looks very nice. Thank you very much. And the audience loves you too, but they're just happy to be in the warm and get the promise of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my chicken? I always laugh at your jokes. Ah, uh, but you're meant to in a professional way. You don't do it for chicken, you do it for the love of the chicken. It's true. There's I'm, no chicken for them either, just I, the promise of chicken. It's different. Okay. I have a few bones to pick with you. Chicken bones? Chicken bones, yeah. yeah. Um, What's wrong? Um, well, since my last appearance here, right. um, I thought the understanding was that I was going to be your new sidekick. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Well, I, I, I rather thought you were doing rather well what with being a movie star. I didn't know you wanted to be my well, sidekick. I think we should uh, introduce some kind of sidekick exam or test. Um, and I would like to go head-to-head -head with Mr. Peterson over there. Um, all right, well, here's a test then. Can you do a convincing George Takai impression? That's very important. <laughs> would it help if I knew who George Takai was? Mr. Sulu in Star Trek. Oh, I see. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Really? Oh, snap. oh I, I... I think Jeff took that round. Yeah. Yeah. I need this job. <laughs> Yeah. He's messing with you. He's doing fine. He's got a proper career. I, listen, I, uh, I've seen this special relationship thing. I saw mm. it. I watched it. I got the DVD of it. There's no cussing in it at all, hardly. I say bollocks at one point. That's not really cussing. That's Is that just not cussing? The, no, it's like an Elizabethan word for testicles. That's not really a. <laughs> I've, I've, since my t I've spent my time in America, I've, people don't seem to think 
the word I'm about to say right. is a swear word. What Whereas is it? in Britain, people kind of find it a bit rude. What is it? But here, people say wanker. <laughs> as if it's like, that's just fine. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what else is fine? What? Fanny. <laughs> as in fanny pack? Sure. <laughs> Have you met my pack of fanny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sex in the city, too. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Makes us Americans, yeah. though. We did that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, snap. good for us. Yeah, yeah, snap. Come on, Jeff. Ooh, snap. Yeah, yeah. yeah shut it. Yeah, yeah, shut yeah. It. Let it go, Jeff. Let it go. That's right. You tell him, Michael. Um, uh, I'm, I'm in Sex in the City, too. Are you really? Yeah. Uh, I was in a scene that was cut out as well. <laughs> I, I play Big's younger brother, Medium. Oh, really? Yeah. In fact, actually, saying that. When I, when I was um, growing up and I was a kid in Wales and right. I used to play a lot of football, soccer, you know it as. Yes. Um, I used to play, when I was about 12, right. there was a guy on another team, uh, Margam, they were called Margam uh, Boys Club, right. and they had a guy uh, playing on their team whose nickname was Biscuit. <laughs> Which is quite a good nickname. That's very, it's a good nickname, yeah, you're right. And I, many years later... It's a bit gay, actually, to be honest. Well, all right. <laughs> well, listen, many years later, um, he had a younger brother who started playing as well, and he was nicknamed Crumb. Ah, oh. nice? That's adorable. It's a nice yeah, story. yeah, no, no. Makes me feel happy and warm inside. Yeah. Uh, it's not only just alcoholism and misery over there, is it? No. <laughs> no. It's all sorts of other it's fun being nickname. had as well. Yeah. Do you know what I watched? Uh, the last, since the last time you were here, I watched uh, uh, Fab Fabuloso? Fa Fantabuloso. Fantabuloso. Mm. The, the, the Fantabulosa. Yes. And it was the, the, the biopic you did of the British comedian Kenneth Williams. Yes. Who I was a great fan of. I, nobody knows who he is here. No. But he was, he was very, very... Uh, My greatest performance. No one knows who he is over It there. is a fantastic performance. Yeah. It, may I say, though, we see a fair amount, and this is going to send the DVD sales through the roof, we, we see a fair amount of your penis in that, in that <laughs> movie. It's true. I You're mean, I'm not kidding. <laughs> all you, all you uh, people that only know Michael from the Twilight movie, you can see his penis in the BBC <laughs> production of Fantabulosa. When you, when you say a fair amount of my penis, do you mean just the first few feet? <laughs> There is, there is a scene, actually it's not in Fantabio Loza, there's another film I did, which is called, it's not porn, but it's called Dirty Filthy Love. It sounds like porn, but it's not porn. Uh, I play what a guy... makes it different from other porn? Um, uh, it's got a story. It's got a story, oh, Alright, exactly. fair enough, yeah. right, right. Yeah, and there are quite a few wigs in it. No, that doesn't make it different. No, that's, right. true. that's true. But they're on the top of my head. Um, but okay. there's a scene in that, there's a scene in that where, uh, where I'm in the bath, Right. And I'm, I'm, I've got very poorly, very ill. Right. And I'm in the bath, and uh, and the, the water is very dirty water because I've been living like a vagrant, like your audience, no, like the audience um, <laughs> looking for chicken. Yeah. And at one point, I believe the Sheen Galleon hoves into view. Oh, really? A little bit because of the water. Up and, periscope, yeah. as they say. Yeah. Uh, um, my daughter, my daughter Lily, who's eleven, right. always says, "Daddy, is that the film where your Willy comes to the surface of the water?" I don't want people to see that. Well, you know what happens though. That it, if it floats, that means it's dead. <laughs> yeah. Or, or it has a lot of oxygen in or it. Or it's not a witch. <laughs> It is a witch. Yeah. I don't know. I'm never yeah. quite sure. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, the uh, Kenneth Williams though, the, the put a spell on you though, didn't it? Oh yes, it uh, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> right, you done. Yeah. yeah all right. Yeah. So um, the uh, the Kenneth Williams. Did you ever meet Kenneth? I don't think you ever did, did you? No, I never met him. No, no I never no. did either. Grew up watching him on TV. But... Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. he was very. I, I suppose the best way to describe him to an American audience, he was kind of uh, a bit in the kind of Benny Hill mold, exactly. I suppose. Yeah. Now, what is the fascination with Benny Hill? In America, I don't understand. Ladies' that. breasts. They don't think he's funny. It's just that it was a time when you couldn't see breasts on TV otherwise, and then they would get the Benny Hill show, and there'd be ladies' breasts, and mm. everyone would be like, "Well, he's not funny, but uh, look there." There's I got up. Is it, is yeah. it that? Is it that, or is it the slapping bald-headed old men on the head? There was a lot of that going on. There was there? a lot of that, yeah. <laughs> Might be that too, to be honest. Uh, that, although that's been allowed in America for some years now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I believe that that, that. that came over with a Mayflower. <laughs> that's how they. That's why they like basketball yeah, yeah. so much. <laughs> that's right. It used to be a basketball sport. was invented by Benny Hill <laughs> types. So it was like basketball was invented <laughs> by a group of very short, bald-headed men. Right. Who just liked being patted that's by right, very yeah, tall yeah, black yeah, yeah. men. Practice.
practice on us, practice yeah. on us. All right, then, all right. <laughs> and then the law came out. I think it was Arizona that invented the law. Right, right, right. And then they got rid of the ball men and then introduced the basketball instead. That's right, yeah. That's why you see a lot Safer. of players. That's why you see a lot of players going, it's not as much fun as the old days. No, is no. It? <laughs> Back in the day, it was really something. <laughs> yeah. We used real people then. <laughs> Have you ever hitchhiked to Vegas and met a serial killer? <laughs> it's funny you should say that. Is it? <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't. You want to go out hitchhiking out there in, in Nevada? That's a that's a laugh. I once I once drove through the desert. Yeah. On a horse with no name. No, I once drove through the desert with my two best friends to go to Vegas, and halfway. Wait, wait, wait! Your two best friends? I wasn't there. Yeah. Well, this was before the days of Antonio Banderas. Uh, yeah, he was on the other night. You love him. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever met him? Uh, no, I've not met him. Yeah. Well, will you wait till you meet him? <laughs> Did you? He's dreamy. He's just dreamy. I mean, I'm not gay, but whoa. Uh, well, yeah. Had you seen Sex and the City 2 before you met Antonio Banderas? Uh, no. Is he in Sex and the City 2? No, but I'm just wondering. There's a pattern emerging here. <laughs> well, what's the pattern then? Well, Dr. She. You see Sex and the City 2. Right. You fall in love with Antonio Banderas from Andalusia. Yeah, yeah. And then we see you in Sex and the City 2 wearing a dress. I've been wearing dresses a lot longer than that. <laughs> what, longer dresses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And then you go to Las Vegas with your two friends. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So we're driving through the desert, and uh, we get a couple of hours into it, because it's a big desert. Mm. And I said, um, I was going through my Jim Morrison phase at the time, which means I was head to toe in black leather. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, and I suggested that maybe we stop the car. Because it was like watching the desert on a TV screen. It was sort of a bit, it felt a bit disconnected. disconnected yeah. Yes. So, um, much like Jeff. Yes. And uh, <laughs> so I suggested we get out of the car and have a little wander around in the desert. That's a really stupid yeah. idea. I realised that yeah. um, once I'd walked head to toe in black leather mm. out into the desert a little way and started seeing these holes in the ground. Mm. And then one of my friends suggested that this is where the snakes live. And then I realised we were a long way from the car. Exactly. Yeah. Them. <laughs> I'll just add that there for a bit of, you know, okay. background to the story. Yeah, yeah. okay. And uh, so we're wandering around, and I suddenly thought, we're a long way from civilization, surrounded by rattlesnakes, yeah. and I'm head to toe in black leather. And so we got back in the car and left. Although I, I went quite quickly into the car, and I haven't seen my two best friends since. I think they're still out there somewhere. Really? Yeah. yeah. You left them there? I left them In there, the desert? In my panic. <laughs> When they find you, they'll kill you, you know. <laughs> That's what happens, because you've got the gold, haven't you? <laughs> I have. You found the gold, yeah. and then you left your friends in the desert, and they're going to find you. But maybe they're dead, and their ghosts will find you. Maybe one of their ghosts is a skeleton standing behind a podium. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Probably not. No, um, I, bizarrely, that sounds very like Kenneth Williams, the guy who I played. He does in sound Dabulosa. a bit like Kenneth Williams. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he's about the same body type as <laughs> yeah, well, actually. Exactly. Yeah. I had to lose a lot of weight, but this man was, was very, very skinny, thin, very, very thin. thin man. And I went on. Uh, it, I filmed it just after we filmed the Queen. Right. Uh, when I played Tony Blair. So you played the Queen, and then uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And all the way, all the way through the Queen, I was trying to lose weight. So when I went on to play Kenneth Williams, I was skinny. So, but because you film everything out of sequence, right? When I watched the Queen. Now I can go, oh, fat Blair, thin Blair, fat Blair, thin Blair. Because I was getting skinnier as it was going along. Do you sit and watch your old films to see what weight you are? Every night. Really? <laughs> Doesn't everyone? I find that endearing. Do you? Yeah, I know. Um, is the beard for a film or are you just. Uh, uh... The beard is just to make me look more Andalusian for you. <laughs> You like Antonio Banderas. I was surprised. I thought he would be pompous. He's not at all. No, he seems no, like he's good fun. Very, very nice man. Mm. Very. He smells great. Does he really? <laughs> could we, next time he's on, could we have scratch and sniff cards at home? <laughs> Can we have that? You're saying yes, but your eyes are saying no. In fact, your eyes are saying go to commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, did we do everything we needed? Did we plug the movie? It's a good movie, uh, The Special Relationship. I've seen it. You play Tony Blair. That's, I do. That's easy. Yeah. For you, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you, you do it. You've done it twice, no? I do it in my sleep. Yeah. Do you really? <laughs> Quite literally, I do it in my sleep. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you ever get naked and have a bath and pretend you're the former Prime Minister of the United <laughs> Kingdom? As my Prime Minister's galleon holds yeah, into view. Just the first few feet. <laughs> yeah, the first couple of feet, yeah. yeah. Right, well, we're out of time. Uh, you right. better get out of here. Okay. Um, yeah. If I was your sidekick, I'd say something witty now. I wish you were.
Yeah, he's... <laughs> Wit and participation are not his strong points. I'm doing my best. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mike Machine, everybody, we were right. Back. Hello. Michael, you're better than Plinko. <laughs> it's good to see. That wow. looks amazing, that film. You look uh, like, that looks to me like Bridget Nielsen becomes David Bowie. C'est très joli. You French bastard. <laughs> you're charming, aren't you? Were you looking at my Eiffel Tower? I'm always looking yeah. at the Eiffel Tower. Not a day goes by. I know. That Is I don't pine. Code? <laughs> Yes, yeah, for his, yeah, it's code for, for penis. penis. Yeah, code yeah. for penis. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen that porn parody I'm working on? <laughs> I have. I've code seen the porn parrot you've been working on. Oh, for some yeah, time. yeah. Feathery Bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feathery Bastard 3. Yeah. How are you then? You're right. I'm very well, thank this you. This film was good. good. I, you know, I don't know anything about Tron. I didn't see the first one either. I was. <laughs> <laughs> it came out in the 80s, didn't it? it came, I was 12, so you would have been, what, about. 40? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know whether to go for the nasty thing and yeah. say you were about 20. No, go or be nice and say you were about four. No, I, I was... I, well, what, what year did it come out? Uh, you were 12. Yeah. So it so would have been... 79, 82. 82. I was 20. 83, something like that. 21. Yeah. My, I was... <laughs> It was, uh, I remember, it was a grey, rainy day in South Wales. Let me take you it's back there, Craig. It's always a grey, rainy day in <laughs> South exactly. Wales. Welcome to South Wales. What's the weather like? You go, what the weather's like. It's still um, raining, yeah. isn't it, in South yeah. Wales right now? Yeah. It is. No, it's snowing. My mum and dad said that they've had, oh, yeah, like, ten foot of snow or yeah, something. Yeah, in Scotland, too. Somebody tweeted me and said, hey, we've got a ten-incher in Scotland. <laughs> That's in cold. your pants. No. <laughs> I, I was going to say that's cold as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know. but no, it's very cold in Wales at the moment. Oh, but yeah. I was taken uh, to see the film when I was 12. And uh, I went in and it was, I was like at that perfect age where you're just ready to be absolutely blown away by a movie. And, uh, and Tron was the one that did it to me. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, I was completely off my face drunk for that entire decade. So I, I really... I was 12, but I was off my face drunk well, as well. Because yeah. it was a grey and rainy day yeah, in South Wales. Yeah, South Wales, yeah. Well, it, I mean, it seems it seems very nice. And is it David? Is that a David Bowie There's homage? Kind of, are you doing an homage? I was doing an homage to David Bowie's abilities. Ah, yeah. Yes. No, I was. Uh, yeah. Well, the character I play is kind of he plays with identity, and he sort of you don't know quite what his agenda is, and he reinvents bi-curious? himself. He's bi-curious? Definitely bi curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely bi curious. Right. That sounds yeah. pretty good, actually. Mm. Do, can you do David Bowie? I mean, I don't mean can you do David Bowie legally. legally. Yeah. I mean. I think we'd you, have to ask David Bowie, yeah, that, yeah, wouldn't we, really? Well, you'd have to buy him dinner first or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, Michael. Uh, perhaps we should have something to eat first. <laughs> That's very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So, it's not as good as Plinko. Can you do David Bowie? It's uh, kind of... No, well, really, you, you just, just don't sort of, do impressions. He does this thing. I've noticed that he does this thing where he sort of pulls the sides of his mouth down and goes, yes, indeed. He does that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but that's very like your Prince Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but my Prince Charles is nothing like Prince Charles. I've made a, I've, I've carved out a mediocre career, mm. impression, you know, doing impressions of people that are nothing like the actual people. But that's what I've done as well. No. <laughs> Blair Frost. I've done it, yeah, that's oh, all yeah, I do. Tony really. Blair, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Do you ever run into him at showbiz events? I've tried to run into him, but he always nips away from the edge of the car yeah. as I shoot past. Yeah. Are you living there now or do you live here now? I live here now. Really? Yeah. 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 Look at you getting all tanned and stuff. Hardly tanned. Are you going to have some uh, plastic surgery? I've had a lot of plastic surgery. Oh, really? But I've had it all done to my feet. <laughs> Which is, is not done usually in this uh, Well, in this there's nothing... Let, if you want to work in this town, you better have sexy feet. Yeah. Do you have sexy feet? My feet are dating Hugh Hefner right now. <laughs> Both of them? Both of them. He's a very He's lucky a man. He's a very lucky <laughs> man, yeah. So what do you do when your feet are out there giving <laughs> massages? 
<laughs> have you ever been to that Playboy Mansion? I've never been there. Have oh, you been there? Yeah, I've been there, yeah. In the grotto. Yeah, in the grotto. In the grotto. Here, you, it, we actually have to use this just because we talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's... It's a little bit... Would you like a foot massage right uh, now? You know, I would, but I'm not going to because... <laughs> I don't trust myself. In your pants. Yeah, exactly. In your pants. <laughs> he did it better. This, uh, is, this is disgusting. This isn't sand sanitizer. No, no, it's not actually. It's spit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, the reason... Awful! Yeah. It's, it's spit, but I had a mint first, so it has a kind of... I, it, because CBS won't, you, they won't buy hand sanitizer, are you kidding me? Come on! It's like spitting vodka. You should... oh, yeah. How do you know what spitting vodka feels like on your hands? Was it that was when a, you were up in the Playboy Mansion? It was a grey and rainy day in South Wales. <laughs> I told you. So you, maybe you should go up to that Playboy Mansion and you see it, you know, see it. What, what I've never understood is... Uh, as Swahili. He, I've so never he, understood Swahili. It's a very difficult language. But so he lives there in mm. this mansion and has yeah, he got just like parties there every night and all these women there? Yeah, well I think so. I think, it, I, I think he lives upstairs in a kind of apartment where he can sneak out and go for the early bird special and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and go to big giant drug stores and a little rascal. <laughs> and, and, and I think what happens is parties happen below and then they bring him down from time to time and he goes, ah. And then they, it's kind of like what we do with very Jeff like Peterson. Jeff, yeah, yeah, very similar. In your pants. We have to take a break, but oh. here's, the, here's the great news. Mm -hmm. You have to do another bit of this show after the commercial. No, yeah. no. Yeah, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. We were just talking, and uh, he's famous. With a little bit of kissing as well, but mainly talking. I got a foot massage, and it was so, it was so exciting, I spat into my body. <laughs> so, now, you were telling me about, about, during the break about the Tron movies in the 3D. It's in the 3D. And, uh, and Jeff Bridges plays himself now and back in 1982, but I don't... Yeah. And then I said to you, how does he do that? And you said, oh, Benjamin Button. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? That I means... <laughs> that means you get Brad Pitt in to play the younger... But no. Really? It means... Uh, it means... Well, the, the, the technique that they developed, the technology they developed for Benjamin Button to make Brad Pitt kind of age backwards, right. they've kind of developed that and taken it further, and so you get to... I, spoiler alert. No, it's not a spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, everyone knows he's in the trailer, for God's sake. Right. Um, he, you get to see Jeff's character, Flynn, right. from the first film uh, in this film as well so it involves kind of having cameras all around your head and 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 other actors being your body and you all that just stuff. make Ooh la la. Yeah. <laughs> I have no doubt I was so drunk all the way through the film <laughs> I have well, no idea. Uh, well, now, are you very patient with all that stuff? Because I can imagine like all that makeup and all that stuff and all these cameras and the 3D things. And, but doesn't that just bore the arse off? You have to sit no, there for hours it's, and end. No, it's great. It's like, um, it, like people say, oh, what's it like to have to imagine everything going on around you and it's a green screen and all that. But it's like being a kid in your bedroom, you know, and just playing. You go, well, I... <laughs> Maybe not the way you played in your bedroom. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Bringing back any memories. Yes, no, that's... There's a lot of this tonight. I don't know if I can agree with that. Yeah, I was always... put that as a subliminal message. <laughs> yeah. I was always told I'd go blind if I did too much of that. Yes, I thought that too. I actually thought the worst of it was I occasionally would go and stay over at my grandma's house and mm. she had nylon sheets on the beds in the guest oh, room. on your toenails. No, it, it was worse because when you got into them, if you were staying in the guest bedroom, and I was like 13, 14, right, staying mm. in the guest bedroom, if you're in nylon sheets and you start moving around enthusiastically, <laughs> yes. you get an electric shock. I... <laughs> In I, your pants. In your pants. And I thought it, I was being punished by a bug. <laughs> you were. You were. Love it. Yeah. Do you know, I, I had a friend... <laughs> this is a terrible thing to say. I had a friend when I was growing up who um, discovered moving around excitedly, mm -hmm. as you put it, by um, doing pull-ups 
on the door frame of his door, of his bedroom door. He wanted to, like, you know, get strong because he was quite right. skinny. Right. So he started doing pull-ups on the door frame of his door, um, but with the door closed. And he discovered... <laughs> that boy... That boy had the biggest developed arms... Yeah. And a very satisfied smile on his face for most of the school. And only attracted to very flat-chested women. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Very two-dimensional relationships yeah, he had. Yeah. That's very odd. Yeah, an odd yeah. thing to do. I've never tried to have sex with a door. <laughs> Maybe now's the time. Maybe. No, I think I'm past you it. You have now. a very attractive desk, though. <laughs> See, you, there you are. You're, no, don't, don't. Bigger on the inside. <laughs> God, God. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you fancy tonight? Um, you fancy an awkward pause or harmonica to get out of here? Oh, what do you think? Um, I'd like to try something. I'd like to try Secretariat. <gasps> oh, no, not Secretariat. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you very much. Pretty good. You, you, you mustn't do that without telling anyone because <laughs> these guys back there were sitting playing cards. <laughs> I saw them. Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, man. It's actually, it's actually Daft Punk. It's actually Daft Punk. Daft Punk? Yeah. In the uh, secretary? Yeah. Well, Daft Punk do all the music for Tron. But right. they famously, you never see their faces. They always have the, the helmets on and the whole thing. So you're saying Daft do... Punk are inside Secretariat? Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's true, internet idiots. Those French. Oh, those French. Here, have you ever been on uh, Arthur's show in France? Uh, yes, we, we, we do a sort of co-anchor type thing. Uh, um, he, he's Arthur, and I'm Arthur too on the rocks. Why would you applaud my pain? <laughs> well, you know, it's good to know that you do well in France, I guess. It's my Gallic charm. You are a charming bastard. And my garlic breath. Yeah, no, you're, you're lovely. I'm not gay, but I'd do you. Actually, that probably makes me gay, doesn't it? I think so. Oh, well, to each his own. Yeah. Oh, no, that's back to the guy with the door, really, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. You, so, uh, you oh. can be my door frame anytime you want. <laughs> hey, uh, all right, let's do mouth organs then. Do you ever go? Uh, do you ever go back to Britain uh, much? Uh, I do occasionally. Yeah. All right. Well, here's five euros. Uh, knock yourself out. All right. <laughs> Have you got a dollar? Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes you a movie star in my book, son. Yeah. <laughs> there you are, American money. Give me Thank the five you. euros back. There. All right. Uh, all right. If you harmonica that. That's not really a verb, is it, harmonica? If you no. harmonicize that well, do I have to get to tuck this down the front of your pants? <laughs> I'll do many things for a dollar. <laughs> but blowing an organ for you ain't one of them. All right, come on. Help yourself. It's brand new and fresh. Hasn't been touched. Well, it has, but not by hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go. Right, can you play this? I bet you can play. Do we have to do? Yeah, you won't be able to do that because you'll be doing. Oh, see now, look, you. Oh, look, I got my dollar back. Okay. Nice. Right. Ready? Ready? Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. The 20th. Please welcome Michael Sheen, everybody. Michael Sheen. Can I kick any of this up? No, no, you're fine. Yeah. 
sorry about the mess. We didn't get it cleared up in time. It's all right. It's lovely to see you. You look nice. Thank you very much. I like you? that suit. Thank you. It's yours. It was no. just hanging out in the back there. No, no, no way. I'm much larger than you across the girth. They'd fall off. I've gone for a skinny a skinny tie. Yes, I tried to go for the skinny tie, but somebody told me recently that skinny ties make you look fatter. Because there's more expansive shirt. You, uh, you, I, you're fine. Am I looking... Am no, I you look great. It? I think I look... You try and separate it. The, well, the trouble with the skinny tie is that there's nowhere to... I don't know if people know that ladies in the audience... With a tie, you usually put the, the second bit in the first bit. Well, ladies a little know hoop. about that. Ladies little know hoop. about that. Yeah. Don't you, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I'm sorry, I made the lady. Well, I've, I've got no hoop. <laughs> You've got no hoop in the back? But you want a bit of tape or something? Are, are the hooping lesbians going to help? Oh, oh no, no, they're not yeah. hooping lesbians. They're hooting lesbians. Hooting lesbians, yeah. How are you, dear? Are you I'm, all right? I'm very well. I'm yeah. slightly worried about my dividing Oh, tie. let it go, man. Nobody cares. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> You've gone too far. It's the new London style. <laughs> All right, I'll do it too. Carla this <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Project Runway. <laughs> Have you ever watched Project Runway? I, I did used to watch it, yeah. yeah oh, I, I used to watch it too. I've kind of gone off it a bit now. Well, I really enjoyed it, but I used to start feeling slightly less manly for watching it. I don't know if that's true, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, how do you combat that? Watching some sports, perhaps? I would, I would then watch men with drills and carpentry oh, no, gear. No, no, no. Like that. Don't know that that makes you more manly. Yeah. Uh, it <laughs> might make you more friendly. <laughs> well, I'd get my leather yeah, workout the, gear on. And do you ever wear leather? And... Do you ever wear leather trousers? Do you know, I, the very first time I came to America... Oh, boy. Uh, I was... <laughs> I'd just gone through my Jim Morrison phase. Or I was going through my Jim Morrison phase. I didn't know that you had one. Yeah, every, yeah. every man goes through a Jim I Morrison phase. I went through phase. it a little bit myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so... I but I went that. straight to the final couple of weeks. <laughs> just yeah. the, the fat, bloated, hairy yeah, one. fat yeah. alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found in a bath in Paris. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but when I first came here, we, me and my friends went on a sort of road trip. Did you do the whole road trip thing? Across no, yeah, across America with yeah. the hallucinogenic drugs and everything? I didn't do the hallucinogenic drugs. <laughs> you didn't do the hallucinogenic no, drugs? No, but I did do the leather trousers. Oh, no. They, the leather trousers without the hallucinogenic drugs are... Uh, and, and this is in no way endorsed by CBS, but... Uh, <laughs> You, you gotta, you gotta tie it all together. So, because leather trousers, when you are tripping, oh wow! Like you gotta... It's like you're wearing a lizard from the waist down. <laughs> but you're not a, a, that kind of a. You're more just a kind of. You enjoy a. I like a. I like a, a sweet cup of tea. That's it, really. Yeah, that's about it. And maybe a bonbon. A bonbon? I haven't said. It. Have you been back home recently? Your accent seems a little stronger. Than I, I have. I went back to Wales. I am Welsh of Welsh. Yes, accent. I know that. I, that's... And I was back there just uh, for Easter a couple of weeks ago. Oh right. Did your accent get stronger when you? Got I back? was back in Scotland a couple of weeks ago, and I you know, people who I've worked with here for years were like, "What did you say there?" <laughs> You know, I was like, yeah, she'd be over there. I was like, oh, yeah, but no way, no way. He was like, aye. No, I can understand every word. Right, you of course you can. It's the yeah. Welsh Scottish. Well Scottish. Yeah. Well, it's that kind of Celtic guttural aggressive sound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they say that, that people say that your accent reflects the kind of landscape of where you come from. And Wales is very hilly and mountainous. Oh. So we go up and we're very, very up and down. You can hear that's how I talk normally. <laughs> Hello, Craig, how are well, you? That's true, you, you talk like this. Yeah. And up and down. Do you know what I noticed when I was in Britain, though? It's fascinated me that all the television presenters talk the same way. They have the same style. That they start talking like this, they're talking like this, and they're talking, they're talking, and then they finish the sentences like this. <laughs> <laughs> they start the sentence with something's very tight, and it's very tight in my trousers, and then it's gone away, and I feel much better. <laughs> Are they, are they actually releasing themselves? It, feel, it feels like it. It's like, it's like every time he comes like, I really have to go to the bathroom where I went and everything's fine. <laughs> and I, it, when you go back, it's amazing. Or even if you watch um, British uh, television personalities here, like, did you watch Dancing with the Stars? Uh, occasionally. When, yeah, uh, Lem talks to, like that a little bit. I have to watch bit. a lot of drilling as, again. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> no, Dancing with the Stars is all right. Everyone watches But Len, Len sits behind the Well, desk. he's a little bit more like that. But at the end of the day, he always finishes it off. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to get a little bit... He's a little more relaxed, and then he finishes it off, yeah. <laughs> he's quite manly, and he likes ballroom dancing. Yes, ballroom yes. dancing can be very manly. Have you done a lot of ballroom dancing? I did a bit. I did some, um, what do you call it, um, salsa dancing for a film. Once, oh. yeah. How was that? Are you because uh, you're, you're quite hippie. I am hippie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I. Uh, well, I was dancing with Olivia Williams. You know Olivia. Williams? I do. Yeah. Oh, you're a very attractive woman. Yeah. You would. You'd get very hippie with her. Wouldn't you? Ooh, if, given half the chance, <laughs> I would. Yeah. If you're yeah. wearing your skinny tie, you'd look very hippie. Well, 
Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's what the problem was. Mm. I, I, I knew Olivia Williams uh, before she became Olivia Williams. She was, uh, her name was Harry Styles. Oh, I knew it! No, her, uh, she, uh, she, in, when you're auditioning for things. Right. Uh, and you're in Britain, and yes. there's these big movies going on in America, you get asked to put yourself on tape. Right. And you do an audition, you put yourself on tape, and it goes off, and no one ever sees it, and you Did they ever ask you to do happened. anything naughty on tape? Uh, well, uh, well no, no, that's another story. Right, right, uh, right. But Olivia put herself on tape, and millions of people do this every day, and, and nothing ever comes of it. And Olivia did that for a film, and she got chosen for that film with Kevin Costner. The, the Postman! Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, one of the great Kevin Costner epics, exactly. The Postman. <laughs> but, About uh, a postman, I remember this film, a postman. <laughs> That went after it was a nuclear holocaust. That's right. And he was a postman that went around saying, "Mail's got to get through, even although there's been a nuclear holocaust." <laughs> yeah. And people were like, "This is a terrible idea for a film." <laughs> come snow, come rain, come radioactive fallout. Yeah, that's right. Nothing will through. stop the yeah. Uh, yeah. But, it, but it gave the world Olivia Williams. Yes, which is that's a great true. thing. Yeah, she's uh, she's a lovely girl. Mm -hmm. How did you do with your dancing? How, how well did you? Do? Oh, all right. Yeah, you know, I enjoy dancing. Do you enjoy dancing? I do. I get very embarrassed doing it. It's a British to thing, begin I think. with. Yeah, you yeah. sort of just sort of stand there jiggling a little bit yeah, for yeah. a while, <laughs> and then give it a couple of minutes, and I'm doing. Yes, oh, you've got it. Go on it's it. kind of like sex. If you thought someone was watching you, you probably wouldn't be that good at it. So you just don't. You know, even although I like people to watch me having sex, even when I'm on my own. <laughs> I have to tell you about, uh, talking of sex, mm. I have to tell you about um, uh, a thing that I came across recently. A while ago, mm. I told you about the website about rapping Roy Orbison and Kling film. Oh, yeah, yeah, Remember yeah, yeah, I tell yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I've, I think I may have found a fetishistic thing that outdoes that in strangeness. Well, so, people that want to rap the late Roy Orbison and Kling film, yeah. there's someone there is stranger a website, than that? There is a website where people write stories. <coughs> right. A friend of mine was given a box of blank videotapes. Because someone in his street, an old, an old fella had died, and his wife uh, knew that he was into watching films and video and things like that, the, the newfangled videotapes. You know? Right, okay. Um, and so she gave this box of videotapes that her husband had in the basement. Uh, and so he had them, and he used them to record things off the TV, because he's still got a video recorder. And a friend of his came around, and they were sitting <laughs> this there. This is going horribly yeah. badly. Yeah. Horribly bad. Yeah. And they're watching this TV show that they've recorded on one of this guy's tapes, and then they're chatting about it. And it gets to the end of the recorded section. It goes on to what the old fella had on his tape. And they suddenly realise that it's just lots of clips of things. And they can't work out, well, why is he recorded down? Why is he... And then they realised after a while that each one of these clips had one thing in common. And it was that a woman in it kept snagging her top on something as she walked past. Just, she'd walk past a tree and it would just... A little bit of... A little bit of... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's a fetish called snagging. <laughs> Oh, no, this is, uh, this is a very common thing. You know this. Oh, I'm a snagger. <laughs> I'm a very, very, uh, I'm very into snagging. There's nothing I like more than seeing... Really? This is yeah. a real thing? Snagging. Well, well good this, for them. It just sounds guy. quite innocent, really. It you is. Know, it's sort of lovely, isn't it? You yeah, yeah. You're walking along the street and someone yeah. just sort of gets their sweater caught on something. And they, they kind of, this gets them kind of... And I, I guess this guy sort of... It's not in the top ten of the most extreme <laughs> fetishes. It's, it's, such, it's, it's such a, a very gentle, gentle fetish. It's a very gentle sort of British fetish. Middle England yeah. fetish. Yes, well, what I like to see is a lady snag her cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, that, ooh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, she almost got a twig in her sweater there. <laughs> <laughs> Cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Michael Sheen. Slavkin O'Hara. Oh, was she? Yeah. She's lovely, isn't she? Very nice, yeah. Strange, are you? Very good friends with Olivia Wood. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with Michael. You look good in that film with a lovely uh, beard actor. I was very bearded. Yeah, yeah. that, that means. Yeah. You know what beard means? What? Oscar. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Absolutely. That's why. Yeah, I did yeah. It. That's why absolutely. you did it, wasn't it? Oh, this is the one I'm going to throw my beard at. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely true. I do. I do. Uh, it, what's worrying about when you get a beard these days, though, for mm. me, is I see how much grey hair there is. Oh, well, mine's completely white. Really? I'm, completely I'm totally white. Santa. Yeah, I go completely Santa. Like, poof. Yeah. ho, ho, ho. Is that why you keep clean shaven now? No, I keep clean shaven because I grew a moustache once and there were like a mob of angry middle-aged ladies outside CBS going crazy because I grew a moustache. What's the... Why do people not people like moustaches? People very upset moustaches. about it. They were like, oh, no, outrageous! <laughs> people were sending things to the show, like, you know, moustaches. <laughs> this is what you look like. Plus you. 
going to like grab you by your moustache. Well, they're very, very angry why, why are people against moustaches? I don't I, I think it's because it reminds them of uh, porn. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Snagging yes. porn. Snagging porn. Yeah, yeah moustache. Lots of yeah. snagging oh, yeah. opportunities oh, with a moustache. Oh, I caught my moustache yeah. on a twig. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're out of time, Michael. Um, oh. So what do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, big cash prize? Big cash prize? Mm. What time is he shot at dinner time? American dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it, just like the burglars use. <laughs> right? All right, two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I um, imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You uh, guess what's in it, and if you're right, Jeff will tell us, and if you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. In Welsh. <laughs> Ow. It's very tempting. Both of them are tempting. I'd mm. love to have a guess what's in your box. Although I suspect it would be something to do with Justin Timberlake and furniture. Um, so I'll go for the... Always. <laughs> I'll go for the trivia question. All right, then. Um, oh, here's one. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Which cost more, building the Titanic or making the movie Titanic? Excellent question! It is a good one! Excellent question! It is a good question! Oh. The, the lesbians almost hooted oh. when they heard it. They were like, oh. I'm gonna start talking very high and then I'm gonna no, release it's, myself. It's like the countryside of Wales. It is. You, you're going up and down up the and countryside down. of Wales, up and down. Here, why is it when people try to do a Welsh accent, they always end up sounding like they're from well, Pakistan? Even Welsh people do. Yeah. You start, talk, you start talking like my father. My father talks very expressively, Michael, and then you're all of a sudden you're mingling in the lobby. <laughs> um, listen, I am going to go. <laughs> okay, that's great. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm going to go in the lobby. I like that. <laughs> Do you like that, Jeff? Mingling in the lobby. Mingling in the lobby. I like it. <laughs> very nice. It sounds like code for something dirty. <laughs> Mingling in the lobby, it's like snagging. <laughs> uh, all right, which costs more, building the Titanic or making the movie Titanic? I'm going to go for making the movie Titanic. It's the correct answer. You went 50 American dollars. Welcome back. My first guest tonight is a fantastic actor, the best actor in the world. <laughs> Dare you laugh? He actually is the best actor in the world. Thank you. Okay. His... Now then. Well, no, wait, wait. I have to finish off telling them the film you're in. Go on then. He's in a film. It's the best film in the world. The best film in the world. I love you. I love you too. Is it better than films that have Liam Neeson in them? No films are better than ones... Exactly so. <laughs> uh, but he's in a new film, it's, it's the Twilight Saga film, Breaking Dawn, part... Uh, that one, Breaking Dawn. It's in theatres November the 16th. Take a look at this. You look great. You look very not vampire though. You oh. look very sort of rock and roll. And... Yes, thank you, Cockle. Cockle? Yeah. I like it. Shall we call ourselves uh, affectionate British names from the 1950s? Yeah, all right, Squire. All right, then, Mr. Sausage. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, then, my little, um, the, the sandwich. Uh, I can't do it. Yeah. All right, uh... <laughs> Listen, the uh, the film, the thing. Oh, oh, yeah. I was just uh, I was just backstage with Chuck Norris. He said he wants his. Flute. Ah. <laughs> he's here already. Yeah. How can he be here already? He's, he's looking for his flute. Uh. <laughs> I can only just touch the floor on this. Look at that. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, you're a tall man. Like what the hell? Let, let me get you the little uh, seat thing. Have There's you got a little box here. or something? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. We keep this in case Tom Cruise ever turns up. Uh. <laughs> oh, there you are. Lovely. Yeah, is like, that better? It's like a mini disco for shoes. Yeah. yeah. I have to say, the shoes have uh, garnered my attention. They, they're large, uh, sort of Teletubby shoes. In the, uh... <laughs> they are. 
They're called, they, they were known originally as brothel creepers. That's right, yeah, yeah. But I don't know why they were known as brothel creepers. Oh, I do. Why? Well, people would uh, creep around brothels and... That'll be it. Yeah. That'll be it. <laughs> Although I can't imagine, if you were going to creep around a brothel, why not take your shoes off? Yeah, I would certainly take my shoes off. Ah, so you're admitting you creep around brothels I have, now. I have never... I have never... That was a terrible yeah. rumour that got started. I've never crept around a brothel. So you're quite, you're quite loud when you're going around brothels. Well, and I, you know, I, I, I like to shout. I go, la, 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 la. I play my flute when I'm walking around the brothel, stamping. <laughs> Listen, that thing that you move when you moved really fast as a yes. vampire, can you do that, really? I can actually do that. See, I just touched that wall wow, and came back. that was amazing. Quick. Do you remember talking about this is going to be meaningless to most of But there used to be a character called Billy Whiz in, in a the, comic in book. The, was it the Beano it was or like the Dandy? Or and Chips or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a comic book from the 1970s yeah. in Britain. <laughs> yeah. Good night, everyone. <laughs> But Billy Wiz was so fast, so fast that he could go in and out of the raindrops and never get wet. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, in the same comic, and this is true, and you can look this up, they had a character called Invisible Dick. <laughs> this is true. An Invisible Dick had a torch, a uh, flashlight with a beam, and if he shone it on things, they were invisible. And they, they called him Invisible Dick. Release the Kraken. Release the Kraken, yeah. They should make a movie out of that quickly. There's no time. Dick's invisible. <laughs> Um, what, what's Jeff reading there? Uh, he's reading the Twilight book right there, I think. Oh, yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. borrow it off you. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've read them all. I'm a Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the, the thing, the, I mean, it's, is this the last one? This is the last one. Right, and so is this the one where the, 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 they all, that's... <laughs> We all click our heels three times yeah. and go back to uh, Kansas. Yeah. yeah is, how many have there been now? There's been uh, 20 squillion. Oh, wow. <laughs> you must be very wealthy now. I mean, you I can am. afford the big mad shoes and the moustache. Yeah, look at that. I've actually, I now wear, look at that, I've got an actual villain moustache. Are you playing a villain at the moment? Is no, that what's going no. on? No, When you're an actor, pe and you look like a bit of a knob, because of the way you, whatever, you, you go in for something, people assume it's for a character. Right. It's not for a character, I'm just a knob. <laughs> Yeah, no one knows what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no you'll knows. let him say it because he's in the Twilight films. Of course. Yeah, all right. That's no one enough. understands a word I say anyway. No, so that's not wrong. true. That's not true. There's uh, four or five Welsh people all over America <laughs> going, oh, there's lovely uh, Michael's on. Lad. There, are, there are four or five of them all over America, so they run very fast all over America. Oh, yeah. Well, they creep and they're brothel creepers that's all right, yeah. over America. No, no, no. You're no. in a brothel. We're Welsh. I'm Welsh. Yeah. So, uh, what's been going on with you then? You've been shooting this thing, you've been uh, growing a moustache. Yeah, I, uh, oh, I had surgery on my shoulder. What? Yeah, Are you all right? I had surgery on my shoulder. It was a Shakespearean injury. I was, uh, I was playing Hamlet right. and, uh, and I hurt my shoulder. With a but, ham? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I was pulling dead bodies and doing all sorts of things on the stage. I don't remember that bit in the play. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, when he pulls the so dead bodies yeah, yeah. over the stage. So I, yeah. I hurt my rotator cuff. Oh, that's a bad one. I had to have surgery, yeah. Yeah, and did, did, are you on heavy medication now? Absolutely, I'm always on heavy medication. Yeah. Well, that, was, that wasn't nothing did to they do put, the Did they put you under? They put me under, over, next to. Everything. I see, because I, uh, I had the camera uh, for being 50 years old, uh, you know. Down below. Well, when you get to 50, they send you a camera. Oh, yes. Like... <laughs> they send you a camera and they send you it in no uncertain manner, <laughs> my friend. I turned, I turned 50 this year and they, they, uh, they like to photograph parts of you you, you wouldn't dream they, you'd want to see. <laughs> is, is that any, in any way related to an anoscope? Which is, I only bring it up because I heard that word for the first time the other day and I thought, if anyone in this world knows what an anoscope is, it'll be my mic cry. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I think, no, I, I'm talking about a colonoscopy. An oh. anoscope is a device for detecting anuses. Uh, <laughs> And I brought mine with me for just such an uh, occasion. I, I think the anoscope is pinging. <laughs> no, they, uh, but they gave me these drugs uh, when I, I did it, and I thought, gosh, I wish when I was taking drugs, these were the drugs, uh, because... Go boy, oh boy. Oh. You know, they, um, when I was having the surgery, I, uh, they, they tell you not to drink anything from the night before. Right, so yes. You, you don't have any fluids in your body. But then when you get there, they put an IV in you in a drip to right. keep you hydrated. Yes. So they pump 
litres of water around your body. Oh, it's lovely. Of yeah. course, you then want to go to the loo, you want to go to the toilet. But you're now hooked up to systems and IVs and all that kind of stuff. So I managed to go f to the loo just before, and then they gave me the drugs and I'm starting to get a bit woozy. And really? I said, look, I've got to go again. I'm desperate. I've got to go again. I was worried about going down to the surgery and being on the slab or whatever and me peeing like a little baby. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and that's bound to put someone off their wait, stroke, wait, 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 what, what age are you now? I'm 43. Yeah, your pee's not going anywhere. <laughs> no. <really. laughs> it's just, I'd have a slightly, <laughs> a slightly damp right hip, if I'm lucky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just getting a little swampy, you know. <laughs> See, I look at my own yeah. boys within the bathroom going, Yeah! And I'm like, yeah, them was the good old uh, days. Yeah. But they, they, the, the, they said to me, uh, it's too late now, you can't go to the bathroom. Like, we can't get you down there. So... Can you do it in this cup? So by this point, not from was, here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had to be. I had to. I. I couldn't. I couldn't move because I had all the IVs in. So the the nurse lady had to manipulate me <laughs> into a paper cup. I said, if you think that's going to work, love, you got another thing coming. I'm like, I mean, there's no way I could be relaxed enough now to do that. That. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you, you talking about it? I've got an erection right now. <laughs> yeah, so then, so I said, "Look, I, you're gonna have to leave me for a minute, and I'll have a go." So they put the curtains around the screens, mm. and uh, and I'm sitting there, and they said, uh, "Any any joy?" I said, "No, still still nothing." <laughs> so then they, joy? so then, <laughs> this is absolutely true. They turned all the faucets on, all the taps. <laughs> So I could, all I could hear was rushing water coming and, from And everywhere. it worked? No, it still didn't work. Oh. I still couldn't do it, so I had to just give up and I whoosh, whoosh, whoosh all over the no. operator. No, uh, slightly damp yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, always nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> we have to take a commercial break, but when we come back, let's talk more about pee. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back with Michael Sheen, everybody. We'll right back. Impersonation. Welcome back, everybody. Michael just asked me when Jeff started doing impersonations uh, a while ago. Oh, for you, back in uh, the vaudeville days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Originally, he was uh, Laurel Hardy and Peterson. <laughs> that That's true. Famous trio. Very true. Yeah. Yes. Who's your, who's your favourite? Let's let's test them. Who do you want to, want them to try? Um, someone British. Let's try someone. British. Someone British. Yeah. Can you do uh, Hugh Grant? Hugh Grant. Oh, certainly. Yes. Something like that. Quite, quite bad. Yeah, yes. Certainly. Yes. It's lovely. Yes. It's fine. Yes. Oh, bad. Uh, sure, sure. You have to do more blinking, though, yes, Jeff. Yes. He's very blinky with his eyes. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, uh, Michael. We're out of time. Do you want some fruit? Uh, I'd love some fruit. All right. I mean, we can do the awkward pause or the big cash prize or anything you want, but uh, I just thought you might like some fruit. I'd love some fruit. Some fruit, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, well, here it is. Um, I've got some... Uh, you can have more than one piece if you like, seeing you're in the Twilight movie. Um, do you want this? This is quite rude looking. Can, it, can I do a combination <laughs> of, of that yes. and, and a banana? I see. Um, I think we could be heading into pixelation here. <laughs> and, and possibly one pomegranate as well. Uh, ah, now, now you've got a real problem in your hands. I mean, they look, look separate like this. No one in America will be offended. They would be like, gosh darn, what a, what a fine selection of fruit that f creepy foreign guy's got in his hands. But, but the minute I combine them into that deadly recipe of fruit genital hilarity, then there's going to be a problem. La, la, la. All right, there All right, well, here's some grapes, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> you don't have to eat them now. No? Yes. Michael Sheen, everybody, Michael Sheen. Ah, 
It's very nice to see you. Of course, you, 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 you look great, Michael. I love your stripy suit. Thank you very much. No, you look very... Uh, Stripes ooh, for Christmas. Yeah, you look... You got the... Ooh, like a sexy yeah, uh, yeah. candy cane for Christmas. A sexy black candy cane. Mm. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> have you ever been to Davenport, Iowa? I had a lovely bisque there once. Oh, did you yeah. really? Yeah. They have biscuit at the, the end of the meal in Davenport. Yeah. It's extraordinary. It's the weirdest town in the United States. <laughs> How, uh, how are you otherwise? Uh, the master uh, congratulations, of course, on the prestigious Golden Globe Award. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, the, for me, that's the most respected that's the award. One, uh, yeah, that's I've, the... I've often heard you speak yes, so yes. well. Well, you know, anyway, look, congratulations. That's Thank the main you, thing. Thank it's, you uh, it's, not a, it's not a, you know, video, adult video award, but it's, uh, <laughs> but they say the Golden Globe winner goes on. It's as close as they're going to give an adult video award, to be honest. Well, if I don't I know. It. In this, this, the matter, because I've, I've been watching the show, there's plenty of. Uh, yeah. there's, there's a lot of shenanigans. Yeah, there's a lot of business going on there. Yeah, a lot of biscuits. Yeah, a lot of biscuitness. Yeah. <laughs> But your, your, your stuff is quite kind of lovey-dovey, whereas well, the, you know... I'll tell, I'll tell you the, the absolute harsh reality is that uh, I started the series uh, not necessarily the finest physical specimen. I see. Uh, and so they kept off any, how's your father for me, uh, as far into the series as they possibly so could. So you, you better get in shape, mister, because exactly. you've got some sex scenes exactly. coming up. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I see. So I had to get down the gym. Well, how did you get out of shape? Because you look in perfectly good shape well, now. Well, the, uh, I had shoulder surgery. Oh, dear. Year. How did, are you? Uh, I'm, I'm better now. Yeah, was it rotator um, cuff? It was, uh, no, it was Dr. I can't remember his name. Oh, right, okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, Michael. It wasn't that famous German doctor, <laughs> doctor <laughs> Rotator Cuff. Rotator Cuff. I'm afraid your whole arm is going to have to come off. We will replace it with another arm. <laughs> and also an extra vagina. <laughs> Everything from the nose down <laughs> has to go. It's it has all to go. got to change. Has to change. You have been to Davenport. You know, whenever, I, whenever I've tried to do a German accent, I, I, it only sounds very, very camp. <laughs> yes, and, too, and, yeah. and I tend to always go back to the same phrase. And I don't know where this phrase comes from. Right. I'm sure no German has ever said it. But I always end up uh, finishing every sentence with fumsi fumsi. <laughs> I have no idea where I got that from. Fumsi fumsi. Fumsi fumsi. fumsi, fumsi. Hey, so uh, Australian accent. Ever done an Australian accent? Uh, uh, no. But my <laughs> it's funny you should mention that. Oh. Because my daughter, uh, for Is some Australian? reason, no, she's not Australian. Okay. But she, for some reason, for about since she was about the age of seven, has tried to convince me that she can do a fantastic Australian accent. What makes her think that, Mike? <laughs> well, exactly. When she does it, she sounds sort of like from Germany, to yeah, be honest. I... And she genuinely tries as hard as she possibly can to go. I'm from. Put another uh, on the baby. Like, what is that accent? Yeah, no, that's a pretty difficult one. It's like your uh, your home accent, your Welsh accent, very difficult for people to do because you always end up sounding like you're Pakistani. Like whenever yeah. I when I try to sound Welsh, I go, Oh, I sound Welsh. You see, I'm done. Suddenly, I'm like that. Oh. But there's also you see within the Welsh accent as well. Like my father, for example. Right. My father has different versions of the Welsh accent. So my father has a very strong Welsh accent, but a lot of Welsh people are a little bit embarrassed about a strong Welsh accent. So right. when, when he's on the train, I always know he's on the train because his accent changes, because he's in public. Right. And he's coming from Wales to London, maybe. Right. And so he'll say, hello, Michael. <laughs> da Dad here. <laughs> it's like the most bizarre accent. My dad normally speaks like that. He's like, oh, hello, Michael, how are you doing? It's Dad here and all that. He and sounds then, like he's from Pakistan. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's, it's extraordinary. Um, but then he puts on this bizarre accent. My dad used to do that as well. Whenever, whenever he, was, he thought he was trying to be posh, instead of saying, do you want french fries, he would say, do you wish chips? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wish chips. Why would I wish chips? Funny enough, my, my mother, I spoke to my mother this morning, and, um, and she, uh, she was saying, uh, oh, my God, uh, everybody's coming up to me in town. If you have a trouble understanding what I'm saying, you can do subtitles, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the, we, you can add them instantaneously. Yeah, We're alive, sure. Uh, so my, my mum said, uh, you know, Michael, everybody's coming up to me in town and saying how much they're enjoying the masters of sex. Uh, and they're loving it, but they keep saying to me, Michael, how, 
Mrs. Sheen, how can you watch your son doing that stuff? How can you do it? And I said, well, Michael, I just, I just said to them, you know, for me, I just think of it, it's Dr. Masters. Isn't that sweet? That is. That's very nice. Yeah. Do, do you? Well, as we're on the subject, are you an exhibitionist in your own sex life? Do you enjoy people, you know, filming you? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in fact, it's Masters of Sex, the documentary. There's yeah, no that's acting. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was acting, I'd be saying fumsy fumsy. Fumsy fumsy. If I, you can tell when I'm not acting because I don't say fumsy. Are you quite? I, but are you quite? Because many British people, and I, I, I count myself as one of them, are mm -hmm. very, uh, you know, rather uncomfortable at the idea of you know, discussing sex or, or talk, you know, just in any, you know, anything but doing it. I'm fine doing it. You yeah. know. <laughs> even, even if there's someone else in the room, but you know the. <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously, I mean, I've got a, a, my daughter is 14 years old. Right, so you've got, um, you've got to talk to her. Well, so, well, what I mean is I've done it once. <laughs> so I'm not, I can't really, and, and then the Australian as well. Right, so right, twice. right. Uh, but I, I, the, yeah, there's not a lot I can say about it, really. Right, no, but then you go ahead and you were, you're one of the producers of the show. So you're involved, true, man. It's this true. thing just didn't happen. It's true. You know? well, one of the strangest things, about, like in films and TV stuff, I've had to do quite a few sex scenes. Right. But I've, because <laughs> you're gorgeous. Yeah, thank you. Very much. Well, no, hang on, wait until I tell you the story. Oh, okay. um, that I've never done a normal sex scene ever. Not one sex scene have I done that's been kind of just a normal. Oh, it's, isn't this lovely, darling? Ooh, I'm so <laughs> sexy and so are you. And Ooh, I've no, turned on yeah. now. I'm... No, Ooh. <laughs> I've never done that. Ooh, my trousers feel tight. Yeah. <laughs> The very first sex scene I ever did was with a wonderful British actor by the name of Stephen Fry. Wow! <laughs> yep. Oh, in Wales! That's right. Yes, that's right. That's right. Now, I adore Stephen. I really do. He's a well, he's wonderful, wonderful man he is. Yes, but I've he's never... playing, playing Malvolio on Broadway as yeah. we speak. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well and done, Stephen, on Broadway. Yep. You're very oh, good for Fantastic. you. Fantastic. But I did my first sex scene with him, and uh, I had to seduce him. He was playing Oscar Wilde, and I had to seduce him. Seduce him. In a, uh, juice him. I had to juice him in a no I didn't have to do that. I had to can he say that what I meant to say was that uh, I had to seduce him I had right. to seduce him in his living room and uh, is that code for some no there's oh, no right. yeah, yeah, yeah. under that it was just his living room right uh, and then at a certain point he took my he, he undid my trousers and my trousers my pants I should say and my pants sort of came Americans down. are familiar with the word trousers. I think, yeah. I think it'd be all right and there was a little bit of cheeky sheen bot in the shot because oh. the camera was behind and then it cut to uh, a, a beautiful billowing curtains and the great big. You had bed. all of this in your pants. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You are, it's you <laughs> are a talented French fries. I tell you, <laughs> it's, like, it's like when 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 I do drop my pants, it's like a matador. I hold billowing <laughs> curtains. And then just give a little peek, <laughs> and then close again. No, it cut to, the, to us in his bedroom, and there's a beautiful bed and billowing curtains. And I am, I am on top of him, astride, straddle him, and riding him uh -huh. like like a bucking bronco. Is yes, what yes. Um, May I just remind you, C CBS? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but then when the, um, uh, the there were apparently there were a lot of Japanese investors in the film. Right. And when they saw a lot of this footage back, eventually, in the, before the film had been finished, they, apparently they said, I'm sorry if this is going to be terribly offensive. I apologize already. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, what, this is what was repeated to me. It's not what, I wouldn't have come up with it. This is God's honest truth. This is what was repeated to me. My character's name was Robbie Ross. <laughs> Now, it writes itself, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much, um, yeah. And they said, <laughs> we, all right, I'm not going to do the No, you probably better not do that to, yeah, yeah. But they said, we, we, what was reported about to me was, we very much like Robbie Ross, but we want more Robbie Ross. Oh! That's what... Here, actually. Uh, welcome back, everyone. I'm here with Michael Sheen, who in no way will tell you an offensive story. I, <laughs> Michael, um, 
<coughs> was just uh, was just asking if he uh, if the shy fellas were still here. Are you still here, Alfredo? Oh yeah, we were right here. <laughs> <laughs> so they're they're still here. Good. Well, we're out of time, Michael. Ah. Oh, I nearly <laughs> fell off my chair. Oh, Did you see that? Dude. I nearly fell off my chair. I think there was no. an earthquake. Was there an earthquake? <laughs> I nearly fell off my chair. I felt my bells jingling. <laughs> my bells, my, yeah, yeah, I said, yeah. my bells. <laughs> my bells were jingling when you were telling that story. <laughs> <earlier on. laughs> Your collar got a lot yeah. more flappy. I know that. Yeah. Golden Globe nominee, Michael Shane. Everybody, everybody. Talbot, Michael Sheen, everybody, Michael Sheen. I'm very upset. They gave you a 10 as well as the 10 they gave me. I'd say that was a 12. Wait, was it? Well, you know, if you see a 12, maybe that's what it is. You, have you made these seats higher than I, us? They are a little... I'm basically <laughs> swinging my legs here. I can't... No, I think what it is is you've uh, developed a new system of sitting further back on the seat <laughs> than, than you used to. Is? Yeah. I like to relax. Or maybe oh. your legs are getting shorter. Uh, maybe I am. Nobody that does, that's not a that. thing. Is you know, it, 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 it looks like that, though, as you get older. You'll find this out. You're younger than me, but I am... Um, I've noticed that my legs look shorter because my testicles are descending. Or maybe your eyes are receding. My eyes are... Re further away. And maybe they're connected. As they go down, they get sucked in by, like... <laughs> so all I'd have to do is pull my eyes forward yeah. and everything would come back everything up. Is, it's like the, the cheapest facelift in the world. Just pull your eyes out. Pull your eyes out and, it'll, and you get a bit of scrotal plumping. Yeah. Do you worry about I used to know a lad called scrotal, scrotal plumping. plumping? Yeah. Scrotal plumping is what we used to do in the summer holidays. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Anyway, you get naked a lot in this show, my friend. I, I, a fair I bit, do, anyway. Yeah, it, it, there's nothing like knowing that on Monday morning you're going to be standing there naked in front of a crew of hairy men to motivate you to get to the gym. Uh, that's the dream job, man. And by gym, I mean the man I keep running. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. No, you have to be very careful. You have to watch what you eat and do all that stuff. It's dreadful. You should do a talk show. It's much easier. It's like, it's like torture, because when you're doing the show, they have a thing called craft service, which is where they keep every delectable food known to man waiting for you. At any point in the day, you can eat it. And so the torture is... They leave all that out there. Donuts and, you know... Oh, see that again. See that again. Donuts. Oh, donuts, yeah. And cupcakes. Cupcakes are hard. And right. booty. Booty. <laughs> Uh, and they leave all that out there, and then you, you sort of, you, you want to eat it all, and then you remember, oh yes, I've got to be standing naked in front of you all masturbating by Monday. <laughs> he well, knows what I'm talking that, about. That's a... <laughs> That's a workout video that I'd <laughs> like to see. I, I, but there has to be a, a, a you know, there's a, a, you get a time lapse. Like if you, if you're going to shoot a, a naked scene, you can mm. eat the donut because you've got time before the donut molecules turn to fat. It doesn't just, you don't just eat, you know, it, it's like, you got, you Oh got, no, when I, when I eat donuts, it is immediately, really? yes. Instant. Well. The eyes come out, the feet come I, uh, up. Feet come up, the testicles descend. Yeah. The whole thing, the whole thing. That's not donuts. <laughs> See, when you said craft services, I thought you were going to say craft work, the seminal German electronic oh, band. Now, here's a question. On the um, opening theme tune of this, and you're of the, singing the, the song. of this show, yes. why do you go London all of a sudden? Well, hi, I, hi, I enjoy that. Hi, it's, hi. it's because, it's because I, I like doing that. It's because I loved David Bowie when I was... I still ah. love David Bowie. And David Bowie goes, Oh, he sings like that and sings like... Because they wanted David Bowie to be Tommy Steele. When he started right, yeah, out, yeah, Tommy Steele was a kind of I hear yeah. company half a six, but yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And d yeah, David Bowie used to sing like very light, and he knew you me. That's right, he would say things are coming down. But what about what's your favourite David Bowie period? Is it I think, labyrinth uh, in no, the in the elf? No, game? man, no. Twilight off, my friend. <laughs> no, no. For me, it has to be I think the Thin White Duke. Thin White Duke. Do just a, a little bit. After 
after um, after Ziggy. Ziggy. Yeah, when he's a little kind of this is me in America. <laughs> And the thing comes down and the, he comes out of the, the skull and he, ah, oh my, it's, oh, yeah. So, What's your favourite David Bowie period then? Uh, when he stopped taking drugs. <laughs> so it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> no. Yeah. no, I don't think he's a big But then he went all kind of like blonde haired and tanned and let's dance. Oh that yeah, that, 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 yeah. Did you like that? I wasn't so sure about that. I loved the, the makeup across the face Ziggy, and the, yeah. the no eyebrows and all the that. Aladdin saying, do you ever shave your eyebrows off? I did, I did a film called Tron. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I sort of based that character on Ziggy. So I had no eyebrows in that and, and white hair and all that kind of stuff. Did you notice that when you had no eyebrows, when you weren't wearing makeup, that people thought you were surprised all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they thought I was a very strange alien coming. Well, it's a very odd look. I did it once myself. Uh, I wasn't in a film, but I was, I was going, <laughs> but I had planned on going to see one later. And so I shaved my eyebrows off. When I was, when I was at drama school, uh, because this is what the sort of thing that people do when they're at drama school, I, uh, I shaved all my hair off right. uh, for a play that we were doing at, at, at school. And it was only then that I discovered I have a totally flat head at the back. Do you really? Yeah, terrible. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, not, oh. I, know, I know how special... <laughs> I have special haircuts. Really? To allow for more hair at the back because my head is so flat at the back. Is that because when you were a baby you lay like that? <laughs> it was because my mother used to tell me to shut up by banging my head against the table like that, I think. No, I, no, she didn't. She, she didn't, didn't do that. <laughs> she didn't do that. I mean, he is Welsh, but he's joking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I have no idea. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there was like a forcep situation going on and it, I don't, I don't know, but I have a flat head. I think it's maybe just genetic. Some people are, you know, cursed with the, the shelf, like... <laughs> yeah. It, it looks I, very good, actually, as I look at it you. now. It's very noble looking. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, you'll be all right. But what I did was, I, in order to not look stupid with a flat shaved head, mm. I decided to wear... <laughs> I decided to wear an old battered top hat <laughs> instead. Because I was at drama school. Oh, yes, of course. And yeah. so I wore an old battered top hat and a three-piece tweed suit. Oh. And I would walk into shops and go, I will have... Oh, this is not on stage. This is just no, this walking is around? Just a, just a, yeah, whilst oh. around. Oh, you horse's ass. <laughs> I know. Just yeah. awful. Oh, God. Yeah, I've done some... I used to... I went through a, a phase of dressing up like a vicar. <laughs> <laughs> what, why on I earth? Thought, I thought it was daring. I used to I used to have like a dog collar like a preacher and have eye makeup on. I was like, oh yeah. That was only last week. Um, I was gonna say, was that in the 80s? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bad time. You were in a punk band. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. What yeah. was the name of your punk band? Uh, the Bastards from Hell. And then <laughs> were you ever in a band? I was in a, I wished I was in a band. I did a radio show just over Christmas time. Uh, I was asked to do a radio show about the music I was listening to when I was a kid in the 80s. Because I right. was about 11 in 1980 and like 19, by the end of the 80s. Right. So I grew up through the 80s. So the first music I was really into was, you, di you didn't call it this over here, but they, in Britain they were called the New Romantics. New Romantics, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy George was kind of one of them, well, Spandau kinda, Ballet, that kind of thing. It was more like sci-fi, like Duran Duran when they first started. Right, all right Ultra then, yeah. Box. And Adamant, anyone remember Adamant? Adamant, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, You're welcome, senior citizen. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So I got Adamant on the show, and it's Howard really... Jones, you remember Howard Oh, Jones? yeah, Howard Jones was the, uh, um, oh, God, yeah. Uh, um... You know, the, on the keyboards, and yeah, he had the yeah. guy who was pretending he was in chains doing money. Well, who was the yeah. guy that did, she blinded me with science? That was that... Thomas Dolby. Oh, I love that, she blinded yes. me with science. Oh, I love that. He's still, he's still around, he's still doing great stuff, Thomas Dolby. Really? Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I went to see Gary Newman in uh, Toronto. Me, uh, well, I went to see him here. They, wasn't he great? I had him on the radio show. No, you did not! Unbelievable! <laughs> Why can't we get him on here? He had him on I can have the radio show! <laughs> Well, Gary Newman, he was fantastic, and he sang Down in the Park. Down in the uh, Park with the Frankel Vine. With the Frankel Vine. <laughs> yeah. He told me that um, the reason why he had that very serious look when he was singing was because he had terrible teeth and he didn't want to smile. Really? Yeah, yeah. Which well, is interesting sad. Because that's also what Tony Blair was told. That Tony Blair was told that he had terrible teeth, so he, he tried not to smile to begin with. And then I think he had his teeth done, and then he started smiling. Oh, A yeah. bit too much, maybe. Yeah, he smiled way too much in the end. <laughs> hmm. Mm. I'll tell you a story about Gary Newman. Yeah. When I, I was a bit older than you, I still am. And the, uh, <laughs> when Gary Newman came out, he, he was pretending to be a robot and he was all like, mm. Mm, 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 and the 
bass player and the guitarist and the keyboards and everything, they were all pretending to be robots, but the drummer was very cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> so he used to be like, they were all going like, we are robots and very turned. And the drummer was like, hey, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and he had big fuzzy hair and stuff, but he was a great drummer. But you could tell the arguments, you know, they'd be oh. like, will you please pretend to be a robot just Dave, a little bit? Be more pissed off, Dave. I can't, I'm just happy, I can't. <laughs> Yeah. That was brilliant. Yeah. I, where did you do a radio show for? The BBC? For the BBC, yeah. Good for you. I did one from here um, very recently, just a few weeks ago. Uh, it went out live in, in, in Britain, but I, I recorded it here, and it was all about David Lynch. And Ooh. music in David Lynch films, and music he's produced, music that could be in David Lynch films. He's a strange And then he customer. was my guest on the show. I, I'm very impressed with him. I made his list of best-dressed people once. Wait, does he do a list of best-dressed people? Every now and again, yeah. <laughs> He's a very odd dude. And Remember, he's the man who always wears exactly the same thing. Right. Well, so he didn't put himself on the list. No. Yeah. So he's uh, easily impressed, is what I'm saying. Well, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. Oh. You probably don't know anything about that working for the -la -la! BBC. But... <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Martin Sheen, who just asked me, oh, oh, you're starting again. Should I leave? <laughs> no, no. No, you can stay. All right, don't. Your trousers are very shiny. Thank you. Is that on purpose, or are they old? They're just very old. No, no, they are shiny on purpose. They're very good. Yeah, they look like leather. Yeah. But without the discomfort. <laughs> Some of us wear leather for that discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with less... Ay, caramba! Go on, is that not a... Groggy! Is that a word? No. Chafing. Less chafing. Chafing, yeah. <laughs> But let's, but let's take a step back and look at the word strudel. Where does that come from? Isn't, isn't -la -la. what dogs do to your leg when they... When they hump it? That's, that's hump it. Ooh, humping your leg. I think croissant is perhaps a French-Canadian word. Ah. Ah, mais oui. Où est le French-Canadien? Uh, dans French Canada. Ah. I, uh, have you ever I been to Montreal? I have. I remember nice, lots of very cobbly streets. Cobbly streets and uh, s people going around on bicycles selling onions. Yes. <laughs> Wearing striped t-shirts. That's right. And berets. And Charles Aznavour. Charles Aznavour. Oh, no, that is, that's France, that's not. Oh yeah, that's France, yeah, sorry. French Canada is poutine. Have you ever had poutine? Uh, I, I had it removed and it was never poutine again. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he had a bit more time than I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like poutine. Do you know what it is? Uh, it's sort of like brown goo that gets put on tops of... I think that's unfair to our French-Canadian brothers and sisters. It's French fries with, uh, or as they call them, fries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the word French is redondant. You don't need to some French fries <laughs> if you are at a sport French. <laughs> Do you, can you speak French? I can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh... yeah. Well, suppose we could conduct the rest of the show in French. I would very much like that. Uh, you know, sometimes when people can't speak French, yeah. and they hear people speaking French, yeah. it just sounds like people speaking English with a stupid accent. I hate that. I, I know. hate it. I know. I hate those people. Those people are stupid people. I, I can't. I, I, I can't go on. <laughs> Man, I, 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 no, let's not stop. All no, right, no, all no. right, all right. So, uh, what is your favorite cheese? My favorite cheese is my blue cheese. Blue cheese? Uh, oh, you mean blue cheese? <laughs> I don't know what you talk about. Wait, we sound a little Italian all of a sudden. He's getting a little Groucho Marx, I think. Chico Marx, Chico Marx. Let's go all over uh, Europe now. Okay, uh, it's time to go to Germany. Ah. Oh no, Dracula, I'm Dracula. <laughs> we are in Transylvania now. Transylvania. Oh, oh when, yes. When yes. I was um, when I was about uh, 17, I got a job at Wales's first drive-through burger bar. I see. Yes. <laughs> now. You're going to see where I'm going with this in a minute. Okay, I'm happy um, to go and, with you. Uh, I used to have to stand in a little porter cabin thing because they didn't have enough money to have an actual shop. 
So they just had a little, you know, portable cabin thing at the side of the motorway, freeway, if you're American, uh, the side of the motorway. Many of these people are American. Yeah. Uh, and I used to have to speak into a little speaker thing, and you'd see the cars come in on a little monitor inside the porter cabin. And then you'd have to go, hello, welcome to Burgermaster, for that was its name. Welcome to Burgermaster, can I take your order, please? And I used to get so bored by this, mm. that at night time, eventually, I would start making up voices to do it in. And one of the voices I did it in was The Rock. I see! Hello, welcome to Burgermaster. <laughs> May I take your order, please? Oh, 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 oh. That's what I said. Yes, I would like a blue cheeseburger. <laughs> we don't serve Italians in here. <laughs> no, you don't serve Italians. You're a racist. You're a racist Dracula. Well, this first <laughs> racist vampiric burger bar. A racist vampire hamburger. Right. Yeah, that's that's a because there were many normal ones of that. Right, there right, were many right. Drive through yeah. racist vampire burger bar. You know that sounds like something on uh, the Cartoon Network or something, doesn't it? Do you ever watch Adventure Time? No, my my uh, I've been told about it though. Yes, a friend. Your daughter watch it? My daughter's watch. Yeah, my my oldest boy watches it. It's fantastic. Have you ever? Things have gone crazy ever since SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, it's no, gone mental. But Adventure Time's like like it's really good. It's like a story and everything. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like in my day, it was, you know, the cat chased the mouse and they killed each other. <laughs> that was a cartoon. Yeah. Nowadays, people are having feelings and <laughs> shorting stuff out. Want stories? Stories. There's, there's the, the Ice King, whose his backstory is so sad. <laughs> the Finn and Jake, they... they is that the one with Captain Knuckles? No. That's another one. Who wants that one? <laughs> I think you made that one up. I, I made that up. Captain Knuckles. And Tootsie Fruits. And oh, yeah, Captain Knuckles. Bollocks. Oh. Poutine Cheese Show. Yeah. <laughs> Big French Canadian cartoon, very popular with the kids. What's the. There's. Um, you say poutine, mm. but what's the Irish moonshine called? Isn't that called poutine as well? Poutine. Pucci. Oh, well, of course, there's a massive difference there, isn't there? Well, it's two separate words, for goodness sake. I mean... You, you're getting mad at me, like I've got something to do with it. I just provided you with the information. You're like, oh, 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 well, that's so different. Like, I said, I'm just telling you. But you said it like I was the stupidest person in the world. One's called poutine, the other one's called poutine. What's wrong with you? Of course they're completely different. But what, like, surely there's been terrible. I hate it when we fight! <laughs> Then you must not argue with me! I oh, can't God. take right. this anymore! <laughs> Michael Sheen, everybody! We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody, welcome back! My first guest tonight... My first guest tonight is an award-winning actor. He is an astronaut. He, uh, he has his own fragrance called... Surprise! Um, <laughs> he is Welsh. Welsh, yeah. He is the first Welshman in space. <laughs> <laughs> Who can forget those immortal words when he landed on the astro the thing? Which were? Surprise! Yeah, surprise, that's right. <laughs> Please welcome a good friend of this show, I mean, Michael Sheen, everybody. Michael Sheen. You're beardy and you're sort of tweedy. You look very Welsh. Thank like, you very, very Welsh. I'm just growing it in for someone else. I, I hire myself out as a beard grower. Oh, it I see. It grows to a certain it's length. It's a surrogate beard. And That's then you... right. And then I take it off and then I give it to people for Christmas. Is it not for a... a, a ro <laughs> you give beards for Christmas? Yes. It's going to be a beardy Christmas. It's going to be a white Christmas. Look how much white I, there is in my beard. I'm afraid for in Movember I toyed with the idea of a moustache and a little kind of thing and this was, this was sort of white and this was pure white and then downstairs... <laughs> Shudder the thought. It's snow in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Is, um, I thought, when I first heard of Movember, yeah. I thought it was that you grew a moustache but it was mauve. Mauve? You had to dye it mauve. 
I like this. I think that's what we should do. Next Movember, it'll be Movember, and we'll dye our... What is Mov? Is a sort of Rothko worked in Mov, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you a fan of Rothko? I love Rothko's music. Yes. And I'm a big fan <laughs> yeah. of Taylor Swift's art. Yeah. I don't, I don't know any Taylor Swift. I wish her no harm. I just don't feel yeah. for my particular demographic. I that's think all. she goes on too many dates. Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't know anything about Taylor Swift. I do. She, oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, goes out too much. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's, the, that's in her song, isn't it? Oh, is, is that in her that's song? That's the lyrics of her song. Well, mm mm. Or, or so they say. Mm mm. <laughs> Isn't that what the, she says? <laughs> wait, wait. So you've you've heard? Uh, you've got a daughter, though. You've got a yes. teenage daughter. That's why. I've that's got, why you know. Inside, inside. Yeah, I've got inside. boys. I can tell you about monster trucks, and that's it. <laughs> but I, I will tell you something about Rothko, though. Oh yeah. Uh, apparently, you uh, the longer you stay in a room with his paintings, yeah, the more they work on you. You have oh, get arse and parsley. Room long enough. <laughs> I, that's like the eyes follow you around the room, that old thing. Like, I, when you look at the Mona Lisa, the eyes follow you around the room. <laughs> Rothko's big lumps of colour follow, follow you, around, you around, the, around the room. I remember I went to um, uh, an art gallery once in London. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and someone told me there's, there's a room of just Rothko paintings. Right. And you just go in there and you just have to sit there. And if you sit there long enough, they start sort of vibrating. And it, get, it well, gets... Well, yeah, if you do acid, of course. <laughs> yeah. I stayed have there. You, have you done acid? I've, I've never done acid. Really? No. Yeah, you no. know, <laughs> might be time. Are we going to do it tonight? No, that... no, no. I, I feel like I w went through that particular portal of hell and I don't need to do it again. I, I grew up in Port Albert. I don't need to do oh, acid. Oh, yeah. Well, I grew up in Glasgow. It was, no, you know, much the same similar. thing, but with a different kind of tilt mm. or lilt. No, tilt. A different tilt. <laughs> So what have you been up to then? I'm, doing any I'm, vampires or anything like that? No, 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 no. Yeah. I haven't been doing any of that. I'm, uh, I'm going to, to Wales for Christmas. Oh, that's... Going back to Wales for Christmas. Well, and, that, um, what could be more Christmassy than Wales? Than rainy Wales. Rainy Wales. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, beginning to look... I, I won't try and do the accent because it'll turn out I do my Pakistani when I try to do Welsh. This is true. Well, yeah. It's beginning to look a lot like... <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. People do that all the time, don't they? People generally tend to walk around in Wales looking like Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins <laughs> and going, No, it's I'm beginning to are... look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of it. I think I might have to go to Wales for Christmas. It sounds great. My, uh, my Christmas present to my parents, don't tell anyone. Don't tell my parents if you see them. Okay. But uh, my Christmas present to my parents is um, that they're going to come over to L.A., in, in the new year, right. over from Wales, because right. it's my daughter's birthday at the end of January, and they, right. and they like nothing better than coming over. The last time they came over was a couple of years ago, and I was, uh, I was inspired. I, th I watched this Japanese film called Tokyo Story. Have you ever seen Tokyo? No, I haven't. No. It's about this elderly Japanese couple who go to visit their kids in the big city. Tokyo. And, yes. Right. And they have a terrible time. Their kids just don't give them a good time at all. So I watched this film and I was inspired. I thought, I'm going to give my parents the best time. Oh, best time. I thought you were a terrible time. No, no, no. <laughs> all right. And I thought, because I usually sort of try and arrange things for them to do that I, I, I want them to like, rather than the things they will like. Right. So this particular trip, I, I decided I was going to give them the things that they would like. Have you ever been to Medieval Times? I love Medieval Times! <laughs> I love Medieval Times! Medieval Times is... To me, Medieval Times is worth ten vibrating Rothkos. Absolutely. I love Medieval Absolutely. Times. So I knew my mum and dad would love Medieval oh, Times. Oh, yes! So not only did I take them to Medieval Times, I hired a party bus with a stripper pole. I played Medieval music I in want it. to be in your family! And then I... I hired... I got costumes for them to wear oh. as well. My God, mother, this is fantastic! Yeah. We all dressed in medieval costume. My dad was dressed as King Arthur. When we got there, everyone thought he worked there and took photographs of him <laughs> all, the, all day. He's never been happier. Never been happier. I do like medieval times. You know when I knew I was in? When I was sitting there with my paper crown on and the wench came over, the old medieval wench, and said, Would his lordship require a Pepsi? <laughs> and I was like, Yes! Uh, yes, his lordship would <laughs> like a Pepsi! <laughs> When you, when you call them up to do the booking on the phone, the girl who answers the phone <laughs> <laughs> has clearly been told, you have to speak in oldie-worldie speak when someone calls you on the phone. So she goes, she says things like, 
hello, this is medieval, ye olde medieval times, how can I help? And she has to like, speak in that way. But anyway, I had such a great time when I was there. The secret is dress up. Yes, you've got to dress up. Yep. Make sure everyone dresses up. No one else dresses up. And when you go and dress up, you feel so in it. No, You're committed. It's, it's You're really already good. Two feet and in. you must go there without irony or any kind of that hipster. Go, okay. go and enjoy Listen, yourself. When it, when, it's, yeah, yeah. when it starts, yeah. and they, they have that, that um, what is it? I was going to say an owl. It's not an owl. Uh, a hawk flies around. Yeah, a hawk, a hawk. It's much like an owl. Oh, it's much like an owl. <laughs> it's less hogwarty than yeah, an owl. Yeah, but, um, yeah, well, an owl would just land and give you a message. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. The hawk flies around over the heads of the audience, and, it, and you know you can see people like chortling, being a bit ironic about it. I looked at my daughter who was sitting next to me, and she was crying, and so was I. <laughs> well, then that's. Well, it's worth it yeah. then. And that was before, that was before the white horse comes out. Oh, the white the... horse when it comes out with a thing? Oh, that, oh. See, that, that's a show. That's a horse. That's a horse. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Michael Shane. We'll be right back. Michael Shane, who was, we were just talking about medieval times, and I heard there's another one. Well, I became so, I enjoyed medieval times so much <laughs> that I discovered that next door to medieval times is the same thing, but this one's called Pirate Adventure. Wait, wait, so you're telling me Orange County in California is like medieval England, but with air conditioning? <laughs> yes! Exactly. I love this. It's the only thing that was missing. So pirate adventure is the same sort of thing. You go in, there's a pirate ship, there's uh, in in a sea. What? Yeah, in the middle of the auditorium, and there are pirates everywhere. Does anyone get brutally killed or anything? Yes, many do. Oh, this many is do. great. And uh, what so, about scurvy? Anybody get scurvy? Well, well, a few people in the audience. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But they brought it in with them. Take an orange. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, dressed up. When we finished the last season of Masters of Sex, uh, we... Ooh, uh, I'll say that a, again slower. The Masters of Sex. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we... Well, for the, as a wrap present, as a present to everyone to finish, I took everybody to Pirate Adventure <laughs> and made them all dress up. You must be the most popular actor amongst the crew in Hollywood. Yeah. If it's there's nothing great. crews like more than it's to go to Pirate Adventure <laughs> in Orange County, they're like... I, I always enjoy working with Michael Sheen. He takes us to the most interesting places. You mock. You mock. I am mocking. I am mocking you. I'm mocking you like you're a large Rothko. <laughs> As I said, I have done a similar thing for you at the end of, of, the, of, the, of the, at the, end of the last show. We, there's, a, there's a third one. There's Medieval Times, there's Pirate Adventure, and there is now Rothko World. <laughs> <laughs> and I have got... Oh, no! It's... <laughs> no! I'm going to... See, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for this because people get very passionate about art and they get very upset if you don't like what they like. It's true. Yeah, I know. Well, you have a chance to redeem yourself when me, you and Taylor Swift go to Rothko World <laughs> on the last night. It'll be, it'll, it'll set Twitter alight. <laughs> it's always a delight to see you. Michael Sheen, everybody, where we're at. <laughs> What's the coming and go, everybody? <laughs> What's the common and go, Jeff? What's happening, everybody? <laughs> if my Italian is a little too Italian for me, my friend Jeff over here, he will translate. If I don't make any sense, the gay robot's gonna figure it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, last night, I was watching the debate, and I was riveted, riveted. Last night, I was eating Cheetos and pleasuring myself. <laughs> like you know me, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so I was watching the debate and Mitt Romney. <laughs> Mitt Romney has beautiful eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Mitt Romney talked about binders full of women. Binders full of women. And I was thinking, really? <laughs> I'd like to see that. Like to get me some ass. All I'm saying is in the upcoming election, America, follow your heart. Follow your heart. 
and call me. Oh, oh yeah, uh, that's the one spicy meatball. Put up the thing in case they forget. Yeah.